Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? It's Dan here. Guys, welcome to yet another series uh, for the channel for us to stream live. Uh, we are jumping into a game called The Shattering. It is a brand new psychological horror game. Now, this game literally released today. So, the April 21st. Uh, I was originally going to play some more... Um, Deliver us the moon, try and get some more achievements, things like that. But then I realized this was coming out, so I'm like, no, no, we're going to play this real quick. Uh, I don't imagine it's going to be that long. Uh, I, it was only like a $20 game, I think, Canadian, so you know that bad boy's cheap. Uh, I said that about Deliver us the moon, though, so who knows. But I just have that feeling. Uh, the difference is this is brand new, and it's got a $20 price tag, whereas uh, Deliver us the moon was already a few years old. By the way, those are asking about Deliver us the moon, is it available on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One? It is this week. So that's, I knew there was a reason I was playing it this week and I couldn't remember why, but it's because it's coming out for PS4 and Xbox One on Friday, I believe, uh, 24th, I think it, that, that, that day is, that sounds right. Uh, so yeah, for those asking, it's not available yet on console, but it will be uh, in the next couple days. But The Shattering, single developer game from what I understand, uh, first person psychological horror, the game is basically takes place in all white so basically all you're gonna see is this white kind of background all the furniture and everything is basically white so it's kind of um yeah it's kind of different i I'm, I'm excited for it and i i like psychological horror things that mess up mess with your brain and i i don't know i just think that stuff is really really neat uh but so the shattering we got to go figure out what's going on i will read the synopsis uh real quick for you guys so you can get an idea of what we're doing here before we go uh, if you would, the synopsis would load, that'd be fantastic. Uh, where is it? Alright, let's go to the, make sure we're in the right game here. Alright, so, The Shattering is a first-person, story-driven psychological thriller. Its defining features are the dynamic environments, beautiful aesthetic, and intriguing story. The gameplay is meant to submerge you in the mind of John as you take each step forward into the twisted mystery of what happened. So we don't know what happened. We are sitting here unaware of what exactly went down but we're playing it and uh yeah we're gonna figure this bad boy out there are a total of 21 achievements for us to get um so i it's it's gonna be very completionist i'm guessing uh there's multiple acts so let's see four game completed so i'm assuming there's five acts total from the looks of things roughly all right so just go through the game and progress i'm excited i hope you guys are as well so if you're joining us here on youtube don't forget to slap like helps out immensely but before we get started, obviously, I'll run through my comments and say what's up to everybody. And, yeah, and we'll get started. So, over on Twitch, not a whole lot of folks jumping in on Twitch just yet, but we'll say what's up. Dylan, what's up, man? Uh, and if we're heading over to... Uh, okay. There we go. Someone's got to sit in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll just run through the YouTube real quick. What up, Zach? Thomas? Uh, Alex? Jabari? What's up? Hey, Tam? Matt? What's going on? Uh, Caesar? What's going on, man? Hey, Grant? How's it going? Uh, Tom? Let's see. One second. Khalil? What's up, bud? DTK? Uh, how's it going? Matt? What up? Matt S? I should say multiple Matts already. Uh, Chris? How's it going, buddy? Uh, how, hey, Scott? What's up, Matthew? What's up? Uh, DTT Luke, how's it going, man? Uh, DTT Austin, what's going on? Doug, how you doing? Uh, Izzy, what's up, man? Michael, how's it going? And Nathan, what's up? And Playmaker, what's going on, you guys? Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're ready to rock and roll with a brand new psychological horror game. I am, like I said, don't forget to slap like and let's journey through this game together. All right, guys. Let's do this. Starting a brand new game. What's up, Grime? How you doing? Prologue. Analysis. The patient seems to be stable and ready for the next session. I will try to reason with him about the latest events. Though we struggle, I proceed with optimism. Dr. W. Richards. A different dose this Shit. time. I know you're tired, John, but we need to take you deeper. We must try again. I know you think everything is all right. Then tell me, why can't you even remember her name? All right, let's try one more time. Are you ready? I would like you to look directly into the pendulum and follow it with your eyes. 
Yes. Just like that. When I count down from three to zero, imagine yourself here, in this room. Try to relax. Let your memories guide you. Yes. Yes. Good. Now. Let's begin. Three. Two. One. Zero. I wasn't sure if anything was going to happen to me, so I was following the pendulum too. <laughs> Can you hear me, John? I'm right here. Damn, that is... I see you're having trouble settling in. To be fair, man, I'm barely moving the mouse. The sensitivity is through the roof. I'm barely moving that. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, input. Mouse sensitivity. I'm going to drop it because that is way too sensitive. How's that? That's still insanely sensitive, bro. Look at that. I'm barely moving. Like, literally, I'm moving it like a millimeter. And look how easy it moves. That's way too sensitive. Hold on a minute. Let's just drop it to the base. Try that. That's still stupidly sensitive. Like, it's like it didn't do anything. You guys got to understand. I feel like there's a mis under, uh, this misunderstanding. A psychological John, horror game, shut up, is meant to mess with your head. It's not really meant to be like, boo, that's not what it's about. It's not about monsters, not about that. A psychological horror game is to be like, holy hell, that's messed up. That's a lot of trauma, whatever, right? Um, Soma was more so a psychological horror. The thought behind losing so many people, when, you know what I mean? That's the whole aspect. It's not a jump scare game. It's not a thriller. It's a psychological thing. So everybody saying you have to play this in the dark or no, you don't. This is not what it's meant to be. It's meant to mess with this. And that's what's scary about it. Okay. I found something to help you focus. Look around. Interesting choice, John. Don't take the pills. Interesting choice. Wait, can I reload? Let's load it again. I don't I don't want I want the other choice. <laughs> oh man. What's up, Caden? How you doing, buddy? I don't know if I said what's up to you. But yeah, quite literally, this entire game is black and white. Dose this time. Oh, can I skip this? I know your time. No! I should have just done but it. Whatever. Sorry guys. Deeper. We must what's up, homie? Try again. Hey Walrus, what up? I know you think everything is all right. Then tell me. What's up, Epic? How you doing? Why can't you even remember her name? I try to forget. All right. I try to forget. Try one more time. Are you ready? Sup, Skazy? I would like you to look directly into the pendulum and follow it with your eyes. Yes. Thanks for the Twitch Just follow. Just like that. Oh, it's skates. Ah, sorry. My bad. When I count down... My eyes are no good. Zero, imagine yourself... Ha. Ah. Alright, well, this will be for the benefit of those that room. didn't see this intro. Try to relax. Let Thanks, your Chris. memories guide you. It was good, Grant. Yes. Yes. What's up, Hendrix? Good. Now. Let's be... Hey, Ken. Oh, my glasses are all messed up. Three. Two. One. Zero. All right. Mr. Clemens. Can you hear me, John? I can't see shit. I'm right here. I see you're having trouble settling in. Quite literally. I can't see shit. <laughs> Not only in game, but... I want you to think of something that will help you see clearly. See, I didn't realize that you had that choice. You have the power to influence everything. So it's choice-based, too. So I All right, so there's pills. See how they're highlighted? Pills or glasses? See how it's like, see how there's, it's a lot easier to take the pills than go all the way to the glasses? Taking the glasses. Help you see clearly. Well, duh. Interesting choice. Now, I want you to imagine yourself standing up from that chair. 
Thanks for the follow, Michael. Okay, how do I stand up? Oh, okay. I did something right. What's up, Gareth? What's up, Abdul? Tito? How's it going? Good. Man, it is so sensitive. Can I turn the mouse sensitivity Let's down manually? That's still really sensitive. Find the source of my voice and focus on it. Like, that's ridiculously sensitive. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I wonder if a controller would be better suited here. My sensitivity is way down. See? Mouse sensitivity. I don't know. Camera smoothing? Maybe max the camera smoothing? I don't know. Alright, sound of his voice, the John, tape. I would like you to find the source of my voice and focus on it. I'm focusing on it. Focus! Oh, I see. It's a tutorial. You gotta zoom in. Did you see that, John? No, sort of. Details coming in? You imagined yourself in a room with no detail. But with a little effort, you were able to remember. The truth is buried inside of you. There's more to your life than this chair or this room. You must remember. Oops! Don't break Did the... Did you mean to do that? Or was it just your imagination? It's so sensitive. I can't get over how sensitive it is. I want to see what would happen. Are you satisfied? Uh... No. Okay. Like, see, look how sensitive... I'm gonna try a controller, guys. That is insanely wild. I've never had a mouse be that wild. Like, I can't even focus on anything. So, hold on. Let's try... Just adjusting. Alright, let's give that a go. Ow. I'd say that's a little better. It seems slower, but I honestly think that'll help us here. Playing games is just a distraction, John. What do you want me to do then? John, let's continue. I want you to take a step back. Okay. Do you remember what brought you here? I don't care. Wait, one second. I want to try something. What if we turn the controller sensitivity down? Maybe it's messing them up. No, see, mouse sensitivity doesn't even make a difference. That is way... Okay, hold on. Sorry, guys. I've never had this much input issue. I'm going to boost the controller sensitivity a little bit. That's better. What brought me here? The trauma record. Yes, John, you were at the hospital. Do you remember why? What up, ghost? Um, date 2005. Um, incident happened on January of 05. January 13th. Head injury, multi-organ trauma, possible early antidepressant. Did he try to kill himself, maybe? You think he tried to jump or something? Let's see. Does it say? Eye opening. How do you flip it? Foreign body. Do you think he shot himself in the head? Or he, like, see that? Uh, object F? It looks like he, I don't know. He was on something. Starting to memorize stuff. The Daily News. Not everything is as it seems. January 13th, 05. Don't so be afraid to look closer. Try to remember. How do you look closer? Is the end of the world approaching? No, but... Car accident. Oh, he's in a car you accident. remember now? Can you see the accident? Damn. Thanks for follow, Amanda.
Do we have to relive this thing? Yeah, maybe the rain had something to do with it. Yeah. John. John. The accident. Always the accident. John, can you hear me? Take a deep breath. You are overwhelmed. We need to try something different. Your mind is conflicting with your memories. Let's up, try smaller steps. I want you to think about where you were before the accident. The room's starting to... We're probably going to eventually get out of this room. What did you do that day? What did you see? What did you hear? Um. I can't leave yet. Good, John. Azure Hotel. Ah, interesting. Can I pick any of this up? The guest book. The key card room 611. Key card, John. Which door does it open? So this whole thing is in his head and we get to relive like what happens. That's dope. So 611. Where is it? Keep January. Going, John. See the dates aren't there. Oh look, January 4th. Who checked in on my birthday? 2005, that would have been my 14th birthday. <laughs> 14th. 14. Not a care in the world. About to get his learner's permit. Playing games. Each link will help you remember. John. Azure. So we're at the hotel now. Whining and dining? A bell? What does that mean? It means get me my food, bitch. Find a link to take you back, John. So a typewriter? That's it, John. Remembering will open Quite literally open new doors. Dude, this looks awesome. I want you to submit to the memory. Don't be afraid to go deeper without me. The door is locked. Go and tell me your story, John. It's room 611. I have to go in there. That's his key card, but I'm going to look over here first. Ah! But it's a beautiful color blue, man. That shit is dope. Eventually, I'll be able to open that. I almost promise you. Damn, that guy got fucked up. Oh, wrong door. Sorry. This music better not be copyrighted. What's up, Bill? Act 1, Hotel. That was the prologue. Navigating recent memories is proving difficult. The patient has found anchors from before the accident. The memories recalled have led him to the gates of the hotel, Dr. W. So this is so cool, man. We're literally in the mind of a uh, psychiatrist session with our doctor. And we're basically trying to recall what happened leading up. We know we got in a car accident, but we don't know what happened. There's probably way more things that we don't know about that led. And maybe he intentionally crashed into a tree. That's something we don't know about. I love that it's one kind of color. It's showing you that you're in his head. I think that's really neat. What's up, cat? How you doing? Oh, I got my I got my bags. My bags is packed. You best tell that to my mojo because his bags is packed. Perfect place to get inspired for writing. Welcome, welcome, bitte me, bienvenue. Can't do the rest. All right. Let's go talk to reception. Hello. I'll be right. Oh, even in the future, nothing works. <laughs> I guess I'll just check myself in. Hello. Whoa. Sit here and rate. Perhaps history. Oh, and there's two different things we can write about. Check it out. Don't just do the first thing you see. Perhaps something about science. Is there anything else? Science or history? Bro, I'm more into science. I, I'm going to pick science. Take a little sit. 
right about science. All right. Wu Tang Bow. Thanks for the sub, Blade. All right. Oh, I can actually. Can I draw something, or is that him? Whoa. Dude, relax. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Yeah, I'm playing on PC right now, man. That's available on Steam. The only reason I'm using a controller right now is because the mouse sensitivity is insanely high. Like, that's the lowest mouse sensitivity, and I'm barely moving it. So I've decided to... Oh, wait. There's some words there. Let's go see what it says. Oh, a bar. Hell yeah, man. That's my kind of place. That's right. I'll give it time and think of some ideas for the book. So we know he's an author. He went to a hotel. A lot of people do that, actually. A lot of writers would check into a hotel just so there are no distractions. They lock themselves in a hotel room. Got everyone will be right back. Prices. Regular room, 120 a night. Room with service, 180. Royal suite. Service and spa, 380 a night. That's not even that bad. Honestly, that's not even that bad. You get service and suite. It's all included. All right, what's this? Oh, those are cozies. Or not cozies, uh, coasters. Every, see how there's like certain details in color that he remembers vividly? So the br the red bar lighting. Oh, there's something. There's like a, oh, a tip back. Oh, more stuff. Can we bring this down? Bring it down. Perhaps a children's story. How about this one? Criminal. Ooh, I like the sounds of a criminal story, bro. What about this one? Let's weigh all the options and then pick our favorite. Maybe rom. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. They do make bank, bro. Romance makes a lot of money in, uh, in the writing department. Nah, let's go criminal. She succulently caressed his nipples. He was not afraid to let her know that he was lactating. That turned her on. They, they sat there and drank cereal, ate cereal, using the milk from his lactating nipples. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh, man. It'd be 8,000 shades of gray is what it would be. <laughs> Write it then. Oh, wait, there's one over there? Oh, no, I've already done that one. Why? Okay. I think they're trying to bring you into a direction. Okay, stop coughing, man. You're starting to piss me off a little bit. <coughs> All right, we'll get up. I don't know. Maybe they're kind of... Maybe you got to try all of them. All right, let's... You know what? Let's do it for the kids, guys. A Dr. Seuss style, st style tale. Once upon a time, there was a raging alcoholic. He went to a bar, but he got in his car. He would never go there. <laughs> Wait. You must under understand why he would drink whiskey and rye. <laughs> he did one, no two, no three, no four shots. Next thing you knew it, he was on the corner sucking four cocks. <laughs> I was like, that's not even funny. Okay. The man was reduced to but a shed of his former self. A shell of his former self. <laughs> he did to a helpless elf. <laughs> okay, put it down. This kid is creeping me out. Put it down. This kid is creeping me out. <laughs> oh my. All right. But see how the, the thing is lit up? <laughs> Dude, I, I legit should write a book. <laughs> oh, man. Stop! This kid's going... 
Like, I don't have that. Dude, the timing of that elf coming in. As he blew a poor elf. <laughs> now shut that down, bro. That's copyright. Shut it. That's actually copyright. Shut it up. Nope, no, everyone. I'd rather listen to the... Like, it's not... Okay, is this bitch back yet? Like, she's been on the longest lunch I've ever seen. Oh, man. Seriously, I don't know. I might have to mute that. It's live, so that's the problem with being live. You can't do it. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. It's copyrighted material. What about science? But it's really quiet. I think we'll be okay. No, I guess... What are we writing then? Are we not supposed... Well, we didn't try writing the uh, history one, did we? You guys think I'd win uh, author of the year? Can we go up? Damn it. Okay, what time is it? Maybe note the time. It's quarter after... Oh! Da 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 hey, Can you imagine though? <laughs> like, I'm being interviewed about my book, my erotic novel, and they're just like, Mr. Quinn, um, I'd like to talk to you about your book, 8,000 Shades of Grey. Oh yes, of course, my first book. Yeah, I'm very proud of it, very proud of it. Okay, uh, we, massive reception. Uh, some folks are into it, some people are not. Uh, we have somebody wanting to know this excerpt from your book. And I'd like to read it out, and if you could explain it, that'd be great. Sure, sure, no problem. What, what's your, what, what expert are you talking about? Well, you wrote, and I quote, chapter 3, paragraph 16. Um, he bent over the table, rubbing his throbbing anus. You could say that he was Greg Puganus. What does that mean exactly? Well, it's, it really is an expression of be willing to open, open doors, if you will. Get me to the second floor. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, at this point, man, just close the damn door. I can only go to the, I, obviously right now, all I can do is go to the first or the second floor, the lobby or the, or the, the first, or the first floor. I don't know. You know what's getting me right now is the the music from the bar. I don't want it. Oh wait, there's a hat. I don't want. You know, I don't trust this guy. So legit, I'm gonna mute it <laughs> just for now. Just for now, okay. Now I feel a little more confident. I don't trust YouTube. Can I take a seat? Ooh. Just one glass to get some ideas flowing. Da 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 da. Done. It starts with one. That's how it starts, guys. Much better. Time to write a novel. Oops. Actually, this gives me an idea. Eureka. Oh, wait, hold up. Quick, turn it back on. We're back. Good. We're good. Sorry, guys. Oh. 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 Hey, come here, little guy. Where are you going? Get back here. I have an idea. <laughs> yes, I did that intentionally. A story to remember. A story to never forget. We shall call it... 8,000 Shades of Grey. Man, I can see it now. Ah. Let's get to work. <laughs> no one will see it coming. They won't. Wait till we get to chapter 11. The lactation station. <laughs> That's probably what happened, Walrus. Drunk driving. Or as the Brits call it, drink driving. Don't know why. Oh, wait, no, the Australians call it that too, don't you? Drink driving. Someone just jumped off. Do you hear that hum? Do you guys hear that hum? You know what that reminds me of? Um, Half-Life 2, when you're charging, you know? Hey, Matt, how's it going? Oh, wait, is she finally off break? 
Oh, I'll get it. Azure Hotel. Mr. Evans, we are glad to inform you that your room is ready. Please sign into the guest book. Oh, but this pamphlet is so pretty. Wait, what did he cop for? What do you guys think? What do you think he got? Can I dip the ink? Ooh. He dipped the ink, then put two in the stink. That's chapter three. <laughs> Damn, you're such an idiot. You're such an idiot. All right, well, anyway, now we should be good to go to the ho the, our hotel room. Yeah, man, I'll be playing the whole thing, man. It's, uh... I'm only about... I'm in Act 1. There's five acts, so we're still at the beginning. Watch there be something in here, like a victim of a car act. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, someone already brought my suitcase. So, obviously, you gotta follow the suitcase. I wonder if we're gonna go to the other floors at all. What do you guys think? Throughout the acts, are we gonna go to different floors? Uh, funny story, Zach. I used to work there. I used to be a lifeguard there at West Edmonton Mall Water Park. I worked there for two and a half years, I think. Out of order. Fuck. Even in the future, nothing works. Even in a video game, nothing works. Sorry, Chris, for walking. My nipples oozed milk. It was elactation. I can't do a good Chris Walken impression. I'm sorry, guys. It's not my forte. We don't know how milk came from nipples of a man. Where am I going? Dude, I can't. It's 6.02. I'm not. I'm six. I'm six eleven. Are we not ready for prime time? No, follow the cracks. That's what they said, right? Follow the cracks. Or maybe just go to the door that's... Let me in. Let's try and get to the exit, maybe. Bro, I feel more trapped than anything in my life. I thought we were supposed to go to the cracks. Guys, I'm already lost. Invisible wall tells me we're not supposed to go there. Well, why don't we try... Oh, I can't call the elevator anymore. So we're staying on this floor. I thought this might be the way to go. Open the fucking door. Following that crack. Dude, nothing's working. Oh, the camera? <laughs> Wait. It's here, so I honestly... 601. Wait, where's the door for 601? Okay, this is getting... Wait, focus on something? Yeah, can you help me find my room instead of just looking at me like a weirdo? Is there anything I could click? Besides... Oh! Oh! Of course, the light was so bright he couldn't physically walk down the hallway. All right, let's go. I wonder, this is 2005, so this hotel is is either old or, I don't know. I think it would be grand. I almost wonder if it is a VR game. No, it's not. <laughs> but I agree, it would be a good VR game for sure. Very VRable, because you can grab it and it's like a simple, it's more of a simple story. Oh, I thought I saw six. Wait, am I supposed to answer that? 
I'd be remiss if I didn't. Hello? Mr. Evans, there's a woman calling for you. She seems very concerned. Six oh four. That's that song again. Do not disturb. Hope I can focus once I get into my room. What's up, Dwight? These people are so annoying. Oh, I'm banging on the doors to tell them to shut up. Dude, you have some nerve to bang on doors of someone else's shit, you know? Shut that baby up! Just promise some peace and quiet, you son of a... Uh, you know what? Maybe I should leave it. Maybe I don't want to yell at anybody, because... Because I think there's choices, you know? Oh, I've got something in my front pocket for you. I've got something in my front pocket. Do you want to see what it is? Oh, I've got something in my front pocket. Now nobody's making calls. Now I can get some goddamn rest. 610. Notice how it's getting darker. And look how everything's all... Like, the door doesn't look straight. See that? It's shifting. See how the door is shifting? Trippy. Alright, guys. My room. Here we go. Yeah. It's like it's like the old version of handing out your mixtape. Finally peace and quiet. A cigarette to calm down and a, my typewriter is all I need. So that's what I mean. In 2005, you weren't able to smoke in rooms, I didn't think. They changed the law that you couldn't smoke indoors like that. So either I'm an idiot. Well, we are already know I am. That's actually kind of a ball in little little space. I kind of like it. So January 13th, 05. Wait, no. That's currently the 10th. The accident happens on the 13th. All right. Let's get a Siggy. Like, come on, man. That's pretty dope. Look, it's got a uh, inverted ceiling. Not inverted. Uh, in, what do you call that again? Dropout ceiling? Something like that. Very expensive to do that. Okay, I can take a sit. I can look outside, get some air going. There's my ciggies. Oh, wait, eat. Is that a mint? It's a mint on the pillow. They don't do that anymore, guys. Oh, the Bible. This is kind of the exact opposite of the book I'm writing, isn't it? <laughs> exact opposite. 8,000 shades of gray. Just, no, just switch all the Bibles. <laughs> switch all the Bibles. In, uh, in all the hotel rooms with 8,000 shades of gray. Yep, that's what I would do. Man, the blasphemy. <coughs> Man, that'd be funny. All right, bathroom? Door's locked. Wait, my own bathroom is locked? Why would they lock the fucking bathroom? Oh, there's a lighter. All right. How about my closet? That was my safe? What the hell? There's pictures in there. Bro, why are there photos in there? What? Are, can I zoom in on them? That's kind of creepy. Do we know the safe? Close the door. By entering a four-digit number and press the, the pound key. To open, enter the four, leave the safe open and check out. They reset it, so they didn't... I'm going to go out on a limb. I don't know what that... We, gotta, we probably got to figure out what our thingamajig is, right? All right, let's open up this. Almost perfect. I just need a cigarette for a quick smoke. All right, well, I opened the window, so maybe that's what he needs. Where was his cigarettes at? Because I've already opened this side. Yeah. 
Let's flip on the hi-fi. The love boat. Soon we'll be making another round. John walked in the room and paused in the narrow hallway. There was a door to his left, but it occurred to be it occurred to be closed. On the right, there was a wardrobe with sliding doors along the entire length of the wall. That's really what's happening right now. Um, the room was dark. John set his suitcase in the doorway and walked towards the darkness to find the light switch. He was accompanied by an unpleasant sensation coming from the darkness. He quickly turned on the light. John looked around. The room seemed bright and clear now, just as he would expect the hotel room to look like. There were, there were a small corner with a bar, folding doors, probably leading to the sleeping area, and a sizable desk. Perfect for work. Opening the folding door, John, as he suspected, found himself in the bedroom. He put the suitcase on the bed and looked inside. Without a second thought, he took out a typewriter and placed it on the desk. Then he decided to check the bathroom. The second door leading to it was also closed. From the inside was coming a soft sound of water. Wait, from the inside was coming a soft sound of water coming out of the... Sh that is the worst grammar. Dude, you need to work on your grammar. I was going to say there's a lot of stuff that seemed grammatically incorrect, but I phased over it. All right. The second door leading to it was also closed. From the inside... Okay. Concerned, John decided to check the rest of the room. John went to the night table on the right side of the bed, but found only the Bible in the drawer. On the second night table, he found his lighter. However, he could not find the bathroom key anywhere. The desire to write was stronger than explaining the issue of a closed bathroom. John felt he had to smoke. Where did he leave his cigarettes? Usually he kept them in his coat. After he finally found all this stuff, he was ready to start writing the story. So it's stuff we've kind of discovered already, but I feel like this room was used. Uh, oh, shit. You definitely don't want to leave that open. Uh, this stuff was used. Um... Why is it locked? That's so trippy. Can we look out the... Jump scare? All right, we have our lighter, but he said he'll leave, he left his stuff in his coat. But where's his coat at? I guarantee you the key is in the safe. How ironic is that? Substation? Where's homeboy's... Uh... I don't lock it. I'm just trying to... Oh, never mind. Okay, we'll close it. We'll close it. Where's his coat? Let's take a sit. Let's take a sit. Let's, let's, let's just... I don't like those people on the pictures there. They're kind of staring at me. Alright, the fact that I can't find his coat. It's like it's on his body. I don't... It's like I can't access it. Where's his damn cigarettes? What, where haven't I looked yet for a ciggy? I'll check the table. Maybe I'll just... Can I open a desk? Pick it up. No distractions. I'll put it back. I'm not listening to that shit all day. Where's his coat, man? This, 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 this hotel has got a lot of amenities, dude. Like, for real. It's got... I guess amenities isn't the right word, but you know what I mean. It's got a lot of space. Pillow? Okay, I'll go back to the pillow. No pillow, unfortunately. Just the Bible. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. Man, it's been 10-13 for way too long. I still hear the dial tone. Do you hear that? Dude, I can't find his cigarettes. All I need is a cigarette. Oh, maybe in the closet here. Is that his coat? Whose coat is that? There they are. All right, cool. Got him. The light. Oh, that's good brand. Excellent brand. Smoking may cause many things. No smoking. All right. Oh, check it out, projector. Why is there a projector? Perfect. Now I can write. Can we, though? Did we 420 blaze it? All right, whatever. Let's go. Time to write a story. I don't know, man. That idea is no good. Can I write something? Oh, she gripped the edge of her balcony with all her strength, not wanting to let go. She screamed for help. And she, and she what? Junk. 
Can you remember your brilliant idea? How about a glass of wine to loosen the memory? Ooh, okay, we got our corkscrew. Now, where's the wine kept? One glass a day keeps, actually, you know what's funny? Is a, is a glass of, oops, a glass of wine actually can reduce your chance of heart attacks, cancer, a lot of things. I'm sure an alcoholic made that up, but you never know. This game is called uh, The Shattering. It's listed right on top of the video player. All right, let's try again. Can I sit down? All right, there we go. All right, let's try again. Give her. All she needed to do was focus on the future. She knew there would be no more noise, no more interruptions. Ooh, my mud bath. <laughs> um, when I said room service, that's not what I meant. Fulfill my fetish. I mean, what? Thanks. Um, okay. I didn't ask for no room service, bro. The love bow soon will be making another row. No more interruptions. Let's write it. Send it. She could hear her heart beating in her ears. Her pulse was racing. Everything came down to this moment. This one breath that would change everything. Knock, knock, knock. Do you have a minute to talk about our Lord and Savior? <laughs> Oh, what's up, Ben? Oh, man. What? Whoa. 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 I don't know if that's normal. Room service. And I just got an achievement for room service. You guys can't see it, though, but it's got scissors on it. I found the scissors. Oh my god. Becky, look at those scissors. Fisker. Alright, well. Just leave me alone. Bro, you, are you not concerned? Nothing made sense anymore. She couldn't think straight. She couldn't focus. She couldn't find the rhythm of her own heart. Every attempt at any action ended in suffering. Ah! <laughs> getting really annoying people should just leave me alone hello yeah thank you for choosing the azure hotel we hope you're enjoying our services is there anything we can get you to help you enjoy your stay don't be a dick no thank you i just need not to be disturbed of course mr evans i know exactly what you need whoa what does that mean what does that mean what, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> uh, what does that mean? What? Oh my god, lady. Room service. Should I use it? Ah! Demon card! I'm out. This, man, it's like Ghostbusters or something. <laughs> Are you gonna call? With something strange. In your hotel room. Who are you gonna call? Ooh. Wait, what? What is that? Why do I have a hammer? Shit. For once, things started to make sense. Everything she saw was with her own eyes. As soon as her perspective changed, she saw the world for what it really was. Opportunity was behind every window and door. Am I supposed to board it up? Remember the time that I spilled the cup? They obviously want me to board the windows up. 
Which makes sense because I'm a psychopath. Holy hell. Now no one can get in. Dude, they could still knock though. Do you think he murdered someone? Murder most foul. Wait, am I boarding this up too? Chapter 2. Alright, let's go. Enough of this bullshit. The night was dark. Calmness settled in. She could feel her body. Oh, sounds like my book. She could feel her what? Oh, also sounds like my book. I can't remember. How about some help? How could I forget? Dude, you're not going to have more wine, are you? You're a drunk and a liability. I told them I warned them to stay away to leave me alone. Damn, bro, you are losing it. Just a little. Look at all this wine, bro. So we know he's an alcoholic. We've got that. I think... How about some help? Can I just write the story? I don't think you can. I, I, I know what you mean, Matt. I feel like... Chapter 1. This is getting really... In, okay, yeah, I've already got that. What is happening? Jesus Christ, and asses, and fuck. <sighs> Seven. That's one of the numbers. We have one of the numbers for the safe. Dude, this is brilliant. I'm excited. Seven. That actually startled me. Oh, man. Whew. Seven is our first number, okay? One more. No, wait. I wonder if you can guess it before... Wait, why is there a teddy bear in here? And there's the camera. The pictures are still in there. We can't really make them out, though. Man. I'm going to leave both these doors open just in case. So seven's our first digit. I can take a sit. <sighs> Contemplate the meaning. That's enough contemplation. <laughs> Two seconds in. All right, let's go. Oh, where's the... Where'd the typewriter go? No, I don't want to drink it. I mean, I do, but I don't. Bro, where's your typewriter? I wonder if he smashed the sh Wait, that's, that's water. Whoa, there's brick now. Remember we could- Remember earlier he said he heard, like, heard some water or something? Can I ring the bell? No. Excellent, yeah. Dude, you gotta stop with the booze. This could help. I'm gonna open it again, see if it's the same. Oh, I thought there might have been something else. Yeah, we know he's an alcoholic. You can tell he's getting drunk. Like, look at my vision. Silence! John J. Anthony. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit it. I should have just shut it off. Shit. Dude, the AC... Like, you gotta relax, man. Yeah, he definitely trashed his hotel room. And then he went for a drive and got wrecked. That's definitely what he did. I tricked you. Must I... Oh, look at the days. Look, it's the, it's the 11th now. We checked it on the 10th, and now it's the 11th. I don't want to drink, though, but it's making us drink, guys. Whoa. All this stuff's gone bad now. So how long has he been in here? Door's still locked. I guarantee you the, the bathroom key is in that safe. And we need more clues. So we got seven. Is there another number somewhere maybe? Can I take a shower? Since the bathroom's locked, might as well take a shower in this water. <laughs> All right, well, I know I have no choice but to... I'm just looking around for numbers. I'm not seeing them, so... All right, drink it. Where's it coming from?
Jesus. Zero. Seven zero. There's our next one. We have another one. Seven zero. Last one, I promise. Dude, no, that's enough. Dude, you've gone through like two. You're on your third bottle. Seven zero. Next. Six. Is that a six or a nine? Thanks for the sub, Najin. Is that a nine or a six? That could be either or. I'm guessing it's a nine, though, because it was standing up. So it's probably a nine. But it actually looks more six like, doesn't it? I don't know. It's kind of in a weird spot. Next day, look at that. It's already the 12th, bro. Days are going by. Can I grab another bottle already? No, actually, I can't grab it. So not all of them is mandatory. All right, cool. The door's open. Hello? Man, he's plastered. No reflection. Oh, does it? The TV says a three? Oh, I didn't notice. Now I'm locked. I can't leave now though. Oh, a wedding band. Watch. It looks broken. I will never leave you. No, it's copyrighted. Look inside yourself. Hold on, should I try and load it from the last save? Let's try loading it from the last save just to see if uh if if that because i don't want to miss out on the code if that i think that's the trick you miss it there's probably like as long as it doesn't save it in the all right cool like, where did you guys see it oh yeah wow you guys have some eyes holy shit all right let's give it a go Damn it, it's so hard to... Let's try 7309. God, it's very hard to get that number. Nope. Oh, that is it. Okay, I got an achievement called Code Breaker. There's no ammo in it though. Don't worry. There's no. There's no. There's no bullets. But we'll take it. We might need to shoot somebody. You never know. <laughs> Good eyes, ladies and gentlemen. See, that's what I mean. Sometimes it's great to stream shit because I might have missed that. All right. I think the only way around it. I think the only thing we, the only thing we can do is go in here. So now that we have it, all right, guys, hold up. I'm gonna actually open up this door too, just to give us options. Ah, oh, they screwed us. All right, we don't have a choice. At least we got it though. Turn off. All right, let's grab the stuff we need to progress again. So I left it. Turn on everything. Because we know he's alive. That much is clear. Take a Mon Mondo Duke. Maybe. Oh, there's two guns. This one has a gun. This has a bullet in it, though. Dude, you did not kill yourself, did you? Look at all these, look at all these revolvers. Damn it, it's copyright. I gotta, sh I gotta shut it up for a minute. 
I think it's too loud. I think we'll be okay. Oh my goodness. Is this happening? Damn it. I was about to end it all. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Someone's trying to save your life. Throw your lifeline. End of act one. Finished act one. All right, there you go. There's five acts total, ladies and gentlemen. Analysis. The patient's mind has begun to respond to the treatment. The desire to focus on the book provides opportunities to slip through the cracks. Still, we reach the precipice of the truth and can go no further. We must try a different approach. Richards. I don't think he did kill himself. Anyway, let's keep going. John, come back to me. Breathe and relax, John. Listen to the ticking of the clock. You're safe. What's up, Alex? Writing the book. Isolation. Despair. It's hard to see the separation between the past and the mind. All right, we're back in the... Can you uh, answer a question for me, John? Sure. The hotel. Was that the first time you were there? Um... It was just a story. Hmm. In that case, we must change our approach. I want to establish a common truth with you, John. Something to ground your memories. That means we need to go far into your past. As early as we can. Think back to when you were younger. I want you to remember when you were a child, John. So now we're doing... Yes, John. Just like that. Childhood. All right, next one. Let's go, guys. Oh, well, no, I got to focus on a crack, don't I? Oh, check it out. Good job. It's always the same time. Do you remember what I said? 10.15? I said note the time on the clock. Leave this room behind, John. Go back as far as you can. All right, I'm going. I'm guessing by each act, we'll end up there and the, the image will be finished. Right? Like, check it out. These are all, we're probably going to take, not, not necessarily all of them, but this was the hotel room. See, 611, that's act one. This is going to be another act eventually. And this is going to get, see, now we can kind of start to see ourselves. And eventually we're going to end with the key. But see, this thing is starting to reshape. It used to be way more broken. So the more and more, I'm guessing that statue is going to recreate itself. Let's go to kid version. We got to go figure out who we were, what we came from, who we're for. Age 8 to 16. All right. Imagine yourself in your bed, waking up in the morning. Time to get up, John. All right, act two, childhood. I decided to seek the origin of the patient's mental inhibitions far back in his past. If we can establish a foundation without inhibitions, we'll have something to build on. This is a cool game, man. I'm digging it. What are you guys thinking? So there's Act 2. Look on the bottom. You can't really see because I'm in the way, but here I'll move. See the loading screen? Oh, it's gone now. The loading screen showed like Act 2. I can't explain it. Like there's different parts of the brain being dissected and the second part of the brain was colored. And there's another part that would be colored if we're on Act 3, etc., etc. So. All right, let's wake up. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. All right, it's 10.15. Turn that shit off. Put on your glasses. Oh, that's much better. Coming, mama. Coming, mommy. I'm on my way down. I'll be there in a moment. I won't be... Don't be lollygagging. 
Man, this guy has like nothing. Battery. Why do we need the battery? Battery. I don't know. I'm taking it anyway. That's awfully close for, for a heater to a bed. Don't you agree? Personally, this is a very in inefficient waste of space. I would rather have the bed kind of in the middle or against the wall like that way. You know, I don't know. What do I know though? It is? Don't go. Whew. What is it? Is it my typewriter? We don't know how old John is though. That's something we don't know. My porn collection. What? Nope. First, let's comb our hair. Wow, it's actually labeled John's comb. Please let it say MP3. Oh, it's a cassette. It's a proper cassette. It's a Walkman. That's sick. Most, most of you guys probably don't know what one of these was. I owned a Walkman. Another comb. What is this? Oh, remember the teddy bear we saw in the, in the, uh, we saw in the, whatchamacallit? Okay. This is happening. Hi. Dude, if my teddy bears came to life like that, bruh. I swear, so, please nothing. You can see him very, oh, now stuff's starting to pop in. Oh, I need batteries for my Walkman, don't I? I didn't want to sit down, sorry, I wanted to open the drawer. New battery, we need two doubles. New two double A's, guys. No, 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 wait, stop. It's one of the few things in color, you gotta take it. Cool. Anything on the back? Nope. I'll take it, though. There's a tape. It's going to be his mixtape. And another drawing. That's insensitive. Some chalk. So I know what they want us to do. Flashlight. Cool. He's using his imagination, quite literally. That's awesome. You gotta collect all the pages. Oh, it's sunny now. You think he shot a tape? Shot a tape? Shot a shot a kid? Dude. What's that? Is that a blunt? Oh. <laughs> Is that a blunt? <laughs> we don't know how old he is right now. It's 8 to 16, so I'm assuming right now it's 8. Anything else? A lot of pages. Move. Aw, that's cute. Man, do you know how much a teddy bear like that would actually be wor like worth nowadays? Alright, anything else we need to grab? Anything up? No, I think we can leave now. We got a bunch of paper or drawings, though. Can we move our teddy? No. Alright, let's bounce. Whoa! Mmm! I see now. Look. We found all but three. That's neat. That is pretty cool. All right. So we're going to try and find the last three then. Goal! Oh, the crowd's going wild. All right. There's one there. Piggy bank. I don't want to smash the piggy bank, so I'm going to wait on that. Sheriff. Man, I'm finding a ton of items. As the world turns. Can I put on the cowboy hat? Cool. 
There's something under there. Another drawing. A sailboat. All right, we're missing. We're missing one, guys. There's only one we're missing. And yeah, I don't know where it would be. Woo! Tank! Bow! Thank you for the sub uh, blocks or Roblox, I guess. Superman. Let's call you Superman. I don't want to. I don't want to take that yet. Because I want to get the final drawing. I know they want you to like. I don't know if I want to turn it on. Damn it. There's one left, guys. I'm paranoid that I'm missing something. I'm definitely digging it. What do you guys think? Where do you think it would be? Under the pillow, maybe? Like he, yeah, wherever we go to him. One god... I guarantee you there's an achievement for getting them all. Under the covers. I'll try. No, there's no option. I might have to just, like, draw or something. Maybe, maybe he draws another one. Maybe that's where the last one is. Check under the bed. I can't crouch or anything, so... I don't think it's under the bed. I mean, I know what they're doing here. They want you to smash it open. Remember that was in the office as well? So it looks like he's drawn everything in here. Like, see that? Everything you do, the soccer, the smashing that, the TP, the cowboy, so I got the sheriff thing, the boat... Uh, the airplane, the balloon, and then the box of toys. So, there's going to be a picture of something. Maybe the desk? There's, there's a Walkman. I haven't drawn the Walkman. Let's try doing that. Yeah, the rocking horse. Well, maybe the rocking horse. No, the cowboy, I think, represents that. Nineteen seventy six. So he was born in what, nineteen sixty nine? Is it actually leading me to my next drawing? Whoa. Oh, there's my sailboat. Oh, there's a key. Well, not a key, but it's a crank for a toy. Whoa, I'm actually drawing stuff. Look. Well. You guys got to remember I'm five, so I'm going to be... I don't think it'll let me do that. Let's we need a fine hand. Yeah, it ain't working. Everything's going wrong. Infinity and beyond. That's some Toy Story shit. I've done everything. What's this? Oh, there's this Oh there it is. Cool. All right, piece of art. Just I knew it. I just got an achievement. Piece of art. There you go. We've collected all the art pieces. There's a turnkey. What, what was the turnkey for? The merry-go-round. Where's the carousel thing? Right here. Whoa. Stop drawing. It's just like drawing for it. You see that? You think so? No, he's still there. He's still just... I think this was just like an action. Because now the whole room is like... Is covered, so I gotta put the turnkey in here. Man, this is sweet. That's some top notch imagination, kid. Yeah, all the things he did as a little kid, it's all the memories he had, that's what it is. 
Oh god, they're overpowering themselves, ladies and gentlemen. It's still 10-15. It's gonna blow! Oh. My. God. Becky, look at that butt. Okay, um, this is not, if I saw my childhood, like, toys and stuff, like, doing shit like this, grab the comb. Grab your comb and you'll be fine. Grab your comb. Alright, obviously they want you to get to the treasure chest. That's obviously, like, your brain telling you something. I can actually walk. Can I walk into the water? I can. Look at this. Follow the lantern. Oh, thanks, Jerry. Glad to have you in stream with us, dude. Wait, there's a photo. 1A, that's his classroom. Is there anything on the back? Nope, but I'll take it. Frying, ex flying explorer. I got an achievement for that. Wait, wait a minute. What about the, uh... What about the uh, treasure chest? Could you, were you able to choose? What do you have to? Are there multiple choices? Oh, I can sprint, bro. I, I, I wonder if I reloaded and picked something else, I would have got a different achievement. Oh my God, Fred! Fred, stop! Oh, what's with people in the spam? Turn off. Go to sleep. Oh, we did. You know we did. Did I grab the wrong one? All right, we saved there. I probably could have reloaded. And we start over. Do we? We don't do it again, do we? Well, look how decrepit everything is this time round. Like, what is going on? There's leaks. Watch it be like, don't go. Oh no, I can actually go down. John's room. Are we still good? John, please come downstairs. I'll be right there, mommy. Mama. I'm exploring. What's that? Is that a whale or something? Guys, if you don't look for stuff, if you ain't searching, you're lurking. Mom, you can wait. It's possible. Yeah, that's a good thought, man. Could be abused. A representation. I don't know. This seems like a decent sized house. Oh, a nail file. Mommy, you'll never. <coughs> Excuse me. I was trying to be menacing, but I choked on my own throat. Ooh, linens. Wait, there's the hammer. See, we keep seeing the same imagery. Oh, my God. I'm just looking around, guys. I mean, like, you never know what you're going to find. They've been giving us achievements for finding stuff. Look at the date. 1976. He was 8 years old in 76. So he was born in 68. So our, our boy is 68, 78, 88, 98, 2008. He's about 30... What? 7? Morning, sleepyhead. Sit down. Breakfast is on the table. Oh, mom's not even here. Just turn it off on mom. Shellfish bedtime stories. That's cute. I'll put it down, bro. John, please sit down and eat your breakfast. If I don't do it, she's gonna like roundhouse my ass. Can I help you iron mummy? I wanna help out around the house. I wanna waste power. Good thing your father's not here. John, please sit down and eat your breakfast. What's my breakfast? This apple? 
What am I supposed to eat it with? Why is there a comb? Okay, that bothers me. Why is there a comb on the breakfast table? Wait, do I get a cupcake for real? I get choco flakes and I get a cupcake. Bruh. Jesus. Remember the pipe we saw? The pipe in the hat? That must be Pops. Oh, there's Moms. See the colors that keep they keep showing? The blues and the reds keep coming back. Blue and red keeps coming back. Mommy and Daddy need to run out for a moment. Why? We'll be right back. Your favorite show is about to start. Why don't you watch it while we're gone? Um, the kid's eight. He's not allowed to be left on his own. Something like that. I if, if my no one would ever have a chocolate cupcake at breakfast. I'm just saying, bro. Like, see, I'm trying to pick up on the subtle hints. Like, see, this is blue. The blues and reds are highlighting. Yeah, they're probably going to go out. They're gonna probably going to die in a car wreck. So it's not him that got in a car wreck. It's probably her that her and her dad. So her parents were probably fine. All right, our favorite TV show is on, y'all. I can actually leave. Hold on, man. Can I... Wait, let me go searching. Mom and dad aren't here, so... I'm gonna be a little shit, and I'm gonna, like, start, you know, running around. Like a dingleberry. Like a couple of dingalings. Unless all the doors are locked. I don't know. I'm just trying to think out the box a little bit. Dad's office. Hence the typewriter. Yeah, these are all locked. Alright, well, let's just go watch TV. Mommy. Mama. Alright, let's watch. Uh, that looks like a classic Mickey. Can you do that? <laughs> Let me guess. We're going to get involved in the show. Mama? Dada? Papa? Well, what was that? Ah! Oh, I feel like you could meme that. Is that St. Bruno? He's like, when the lyrics hit you so deep. <laughs> or something. Let's board it up. Dad? When you enter the building, you must leave your shoes here. Okay. Oh no. He's in a foster home. Bro, that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. This is a foster home. Isn't it? Rule number two. Or he's in like Bible school or something. The television is only allowed between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. That sucks. Rule number three. If you behave, we will allow you to listen to music every Thursday at 6 p.m. Okay, I'm going to ignore all the rules and I'm going to go upstairs and take a giant duke. It just won't let me. All right, I'll follow the rules. I'll follow the rules. Rule number four, stay out of the staff room. This is the storage room. No one except the staff is allowed here. Look at all these memories, remember? Safe here. Remember all the stuff we saw? The classroom. John, come to the dining room. We have a surprise for you. Sorry, I'm looking around, bro. Let me look around. This is all our stuff. If there's anything else interactable. Say, yeah, orphanage. So it wasn't 1A. There was more to it than that. Where do you think John is? We don't know which one John is. There's a couple of shadows in the back. Do you see the shadows? Come to the dining room. We have a surprise for you. I don't like the sound. I don't like how she said surprise. It seems a little sketchy. We have a... <laughs> 
surprise for you. What's up, Kurd? Alright. Jesus, fuck me. You. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jonathan. Happy birthday to you. So I see six candles. I thought he was eight. Well, maybe he was. So we're just showing he was living in the orphanage at that time. I wish they would stop. I wish you were here. That seems like the better one to do. Aw, that's really sad. At least we know what went down, y'all. Oh, sign, sign in. Into the school register so that we can start. Now go upstairs to John your Evans. And unpack your things. All right. Well. Oh, that is so sad. Poor guy. Stuff like that, early signs of trauma can lead to a ton of stuff. Abuse or just losing your parents can lead to alcoholism. Uh, alcohol, alcoholism. Jesus Christ. To be honest, a lot of things can lead to alcoholism. But, wow, it's dark in here now. Wait, did they flip it? Oh, no, I just have access to more rooms now. See, you remember there was a wall there. There's not a wall here anymore. Oh, it's the girls' room. You don't want to go in there. What's this? Girls' room, ages 0 to 3. Can't go in there. Why would you want to? You sick fuck. Girls' room, age 3 to 8. And this is, what, 8 to 16? Okay. Hello. No dice. Can I go back in there? What is this? Do we know what this room is yet? We don't know what this room is. They lock them in? Dude, they legit lock them in the door. That's fucked up. I mean, I understand like a safety gate, but the boys are locked in. The girls weren't. Damn. That's why we couldn't get out. So it's the room was probably much larger than we thought. Right? Yep, bed after bed after bed. Can we... Bill Ford. Andrew Fox. So he was... That's why... Remember I said the layout was messed up? Well, that's why. Jack Hastings. Malcolm Diaz. One more bed before us. Matthew Bishop. And then us. John Evans. Right by the dripping bucket. That's why his name is on the comb. Remember I questioned the comb? That's why the goddamn name was on the comb. All children must be in class. Oh, man. All right, well. Can I leave now? Is there anything else interactable? I still want to figure out the significance of the red and the blue in the game. Like, what is is red? Is blue like a good good memory and red's a bad memory? Maybe. Oh, uh, see, everything just because as we're going through his memories, things keep changing. This was a picture. Now it's gone. Whoa, this place is huge. It's like a prison. This this place is a fucking prison. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there's the cartoon. Like, his memories are mix-mashing. Everyone, we have a new student. Please give him a warm welcome. <laughs> Young man, come up here and introduce yourself to the class. Bruh, okay. Please come up to the podium and say something about... Don't be silly. Come on. Tell us your oh, name. Oh, he's nervous. We are waiting. The kids are laughing Sorry. at him. Don't bother. Sit down if you have nothing to say for yourself. Oh, what a, what a bitch. Children, what? carry on as you were. 
So they there now because he was scolded for not saying anything in front of a, he already has fears of crowds and you know being out open to himself or whatever. Poke, poke, poke. I don't want to poke any of the children. I don't want to start shit. Is there anything we can do? What happened? What is this? What did I do? Breaking things on your first day. What did I do? You're going to regret that. No! Go to the corner. Don't do it! Oh, the dunce cap. Dude, I gotta don the dunce. Are you listening to me? I told you to sit in the corner. Oh, this dunce cap. That was Story so brutal. Time, children. Oh, poor kid. I I'm like Once this was upon a time. There was a woman who had three sons, the oldest of which was called One-Eyed, because he had only one eye in the middle of his forehead. Nice name. And the middle, Two-Eyed, because he had two eyes like other people. And the youngest, Three-Eyed, because he had three eyes, with the third in the middle of his forehead. Because two eyes did not look any different than other human children, the brothers and the mother could not stand it. They said to him, you, you and, and your, your two, two eyes are, are not, not better than, than us common, common people. people. Really? And you, you do, do not, not belong, belong to us. us. They pushed him around and gave him torn clothes and no more to eat than the scraps from their table. Wherever they could, they left him with heartbreak. Aww. That's shocking. Can I go through the teacher's shit? He called the shit poop. <laughs> Just leave like a flaming dookie. See, again, the, the turnkey is gold. So specific things are in color. And I think that's really cool. But I think it's also hinting at it. See, that's yellow. They obviously, do they want us to go? I'm going to walk. I'm going to continue walking the school. Australia is the sixth largest country in the world, Hold located on. on the Australian continent, which is the smallest of all continents. Well, it's its own continent and country, the so... The Australian continent was first discovered by Europeans in the 16th century. Thanks, Ollie. Should I sit down with this? It's history class. Hi. Well, look who decided to show up. Is she gonna Wu-Tang me with John, that stick? She's got a Wu-Tang stick, bro. to be here and learn with the rest of the class. Do you mind showing us where Australia is? Dude, they're gonna cheese me. Well, I guess you can teach the class. Next time, on time. Sit down. All right. I should've just pointed to like the United States or something. <laughs> Where's Australia? Up there. <laughs> Dude, that'd be awesome. John, sit down. Where's my seat? Where? Oh, right here with my teddy bear. Oh, okay. Oh! John, I said sit down and stop interrupting my class. Holy shit, Jack. Was it... Thanks for that super chat, man. That's... Damn. John, John sit down. Jack. I can't even speak. Thanks, man. That's awesome. That took me a second when I saw that. I thought it was a 10. I thought it said 10 dot zero zero. Damn. Jack, you're John, a legend, man. Thanks, brother. Down. All right. Holy man. Now that we're ready to continue, you were awesome, dude. Thank you so I much. I will describe the next assignment. Everyone must join a group of three. We will be continuing the lesson in groups. I'm distracted. I can't even look. Jack is look. Jack, you're here. Jack's wait. What's your D? That'd be funny. If it was Jack D. <laughs> Cheers, man. Seriously, that's awesome. I really appreciate that, brother. Everyone must join a group of three. Who am I with? Test results. So wait, I got an A. I just, that's our grades. Oh, it's teddy bear. Okay, well, I gotta Everyone get... Everyone must join a group of three. See, I got an A. I'm smart as fuck. So he's very intelligent. Let me guess. I'm being shunned. I'm gonna try Everyone and join groups. Everyone must join a group of three. Oh, that's gonna. Oh, fuck. Can I join you guys? 
Oh. Can I join? No. Everyone must join a group of three. Dude, there's literally no seats left, so I have to join this group. What? Oh, poor John. Oh, I feel so bad for him. That honestly makes me really sad. He's really smart. His parents are... No one seems to care. I don't know exactly oh, how long the game is, bad, but judging John. from how long... Maybe next time you'll be on time and a little more lucky. God, she's such a bitch. If I could guess, it's probably going to take about four hours to do this. Longer than I thought, but I'm loving this so far. John Evans, late again. Sit down. Oh, I feel so terrible. Look, there's more photos. Behind that door, a decision is being made. I don't know what that was, but I took it. I think it's cool that all the 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 the, the students and the people in the game. How long do we have to wait for you to sit down? As long as it takes for me to go through your shit, lady. Math basic. Wow, I just lisped so hard, guys. I my tongue got in my way. <laughs> Math basic. Sorry about that. Math basics. Good boy. All right, let's sit down. Children. Hey, Danielle. Hey, lads. So it is Dan. Your name is Dan. Okay. Are there any fucking cans, bro? Fuck this. Quiet. Bitch, you don't tell me to quiet. Look at her. Up there, thinking she's a shit. I can't even see it. Put it more in the middle. Dude, it's like a... What's going on? It's like a fighting thing. It's like a fighting video. What can I do here? Oh, it's his best friend. What was on this... Soon. Oh my. Let's see if anyone learned anything. John Evans, can you come up here and answer this question? Okay, that's a little creepy, to say the least. I get it though, it's all a psyche. Alright, Dan, don't fuck. Wait, what is that? Is that a 9 or a G? 1G? Plus six equals x squared. What is x? I don't know. Did you hear anything I just said? Come is that a nine? Here. Is that a nine or a g? What is that? Because that's twenty-five. So x. Wait, what's? Uh. Did you hear anything I just said? Come up here. It's five, isn't it? Oh. It looked like a G. Who just draws nines like that? It's a fucking G. Everyone's spamming five. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I got it. Because five times five is 25. We know. I actually got an achievement for getting that right, by the way. So far, I've gotten everything right. I got Australia correct. I wonder if that's why you had to answer both. Both questions right. I got an A. You could also get yourself an F. Where's, look, look at me. It's blue. See, blue is now A, and all the other stuff is red. I feel like I'm correct. Blue, the color blue must signify, I don't know. 625, yeah. Just purposely put like the stupidest question. <laughs> what is that noise? I feel like the other students, like legitimately are going to wreck his friend like they're gonna rip him up did you see that like piece of paper i don't know i feel really scared right now for him grade five. Oh, that's the light that's making that noise all right let's leave guys next class time what's that say why what happened 
Did I die? Something happened. Well, because Jankies, most people watch on uh, YouTube. Then on Twitch, that's why. Alright, well now I know. I was trying to read it, so... I don't know what it is, but I'm just gonna run. Got it. Sweet. John, sit down. That's what she says the most. Where's my spot? This one? All right. And kids can be so goddamn cruel, though. I can't eat anything, y'all. You're so stupid. Oh! Dude, this kid is legit gonna just come back and shoot him all. What happened here? What is the meaning of this mess? They pushed me. Nothing. I was goofing. Ta Here's the thing. Do you tattle or do you take the L? No, fuck them. You should stay out of trouble, John. Go upstairs and clean yourself up. All right. <laughs> Man, I hate kids. Fun fact, I was also bullied in school, so I can relate to John. Nothing like that, though. It was, I mean, it was more so tormenting. Yeah. And then sometimes physical abuse. Anyway, let's not go down that road. <laughs> you know what I got on that road? Uh, oh, wait, I have to go to the bathroom. So that room that I think was, you know, that I couldn't go in was the bathroom. Poor kid. All children must follow the rules for behavior in the bathroom. Which is? Rule number one. Do not play or run in the bathroom. I need the step stool. Rule number two. Do not shout or scream. Now I want to do all that stuff. Rule number three. Wash your hands after every visit to the bathroom. Well, that is a good rule. Look, see, it's red. John is... How high is that? Three foot... What, three foot eight? No, three foot ten? Something like that? I don't know. This is weird. Alright, so wait, what did she say? Don't run or play. Examine. Whoa. It's all thrash. Do I have to shower right now? It actually won't let me close. Oh, yes, it will. That's going to be caught. Cold. Apparently, I can't do it. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? Sorry, just missed a couple folks jumping in. Uh, we're playing The Shattering. It's a psychological horror game. Which one's mine? Zachary. Oops. I don't want Zach's. I can't read it. John, he's got his own. Oh, that's Jack. Put it back. Put it back. It won't let you put it back, guys. Oh, the more wrong you get, the more it turns on. I get it. There it is. I would be... Oh, his tooth fell out. Oh my god, no. Why? Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. His teeth are fucking... What's it say? 
Arthur never forgets. Andy will always catch you. Mark tried to trip me up. Zach is always laughing at me. Barton thinks he's the funniest one. Jack mocks me. Billy's the oldest one. Sam curses a lot. Mike stinks. Tony will never leave you alone. Timmy scares me. Shane is following me. Matthew is the worst of them all. Malcolm is always on the lookout. John is being bullied by them all. And his teeth are falling the fuck out right now. What is happening, bro? What's that say? Look at how tall these kids are. How are th how is that kid like five foot five? Oh, 16, right. Because they're younger kids. I forgot there's kids all the way up to 16 in here. King of orphans. Find a way to get inside. Didn't I grab that stool, though? Thought I grabbed that stool from before. Can you double stack the stools? Damn, there's no running water. All right, y'all, let's keep looking. Can I take a leak, skis? What happened to the regular toilet? There was no, that was it was weird. All right, I need, I need. Lock. Oh, it's his Teddy. Uh oh. I don't want to let him in. Fuck this kid. No. Dude, this is just tripping me up. I'll make sure everything is locked so I don't take the blame for it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna close the lids. I'm a flush. I'm a wash. His teeth are still falling out of the sink. Brush your teeth, use the toilet, take a shower. I haven't taken a shower yet. I see. Okay, so we had to chit, like... Oh, see, there's multiple. That makes more sense. Now, the question here is... I'm not trying to be a perv here or anything like that. I just... I think this is where we're supposed to go. Anything blue is where we're supposed to go. Alright, well, let's go shower up. He's gonna get bullied in the shower, bro. Close the damn curtain. Thank you. Shower up, bud. Start scrubbing. What the fuck? Dude, you literally just assaulted him. Oh, and it's Teddy. Oh. Oh. They just beat the shit out of him in the shower, bro. Damn, I feel so bad for our boy now. Like, more so than ever before. And now he's gonna watch. He'll take the blame for the mess, too. Damn. Can we run? Can we actually run, or are we going back? We can go back. We're gonna... Oh, I don't like that. Kick the shit out of you, just fucking... Who's who? Tim. Matthew was the worst, he said, right? 
Where's Matt? Let's fuck with Matt. Let's dip our nuts in his face. Which one was Matt? I, I thought I read all these already. Matthew, this little fucking bitch. Let's kick the shit out of him. See what I can take from his... You know what I mean? I remember seeing that Matthew was the worst of them all. Just end it all right now. I'll be back for you later, Matthew. Mike. Jack. One of them was the oldest. I remember there was a couple of them that said they're the oldest, and it wasn't too bad. Can I not pick that up? That looks like a fireplace. Let me guess. There's a pile of shit here. Oh, it's his teddy. That is the saddest shit ever, man. That really makes me sad. Aw. Oh, that's a good point, Daniel. Possibly. He lost his innocence, yeah. It's waking up again, bro. This is getting old. Wake me up. Before you go. But the thing is, we're, we're, there's so much more now we're seeing. It seemed like it was a decent start. These fucking maniacs. These little psychopaths are picking on this kid. I know the teddy can be fixed. That's the thing. The teddy can be fixed. But she won't fix it for him. Breakfast is ready. Come downstairs. This is why adoption is so good to do, ladies and gentlemen. Because... Kids, I don't, not all, like, some orphanages are pretty, are okay, but there's a lot that are not. And, you know, that's why I think adoption is a great thing you can do for somebody. I don't think any of these things are going to be grabbable, but. See, there's a couple of images that we're seeing over and over. You know what I mean? There's a way out, but hold up. Before we do, there's the there's the thing. There's the math. Uh... Oh, those are buttons. I thought they were money. Shit all over his sh sheets or something. I would shit on somebody's thing, you know, just just for fun. Yeah, just take a nice duke like right in Matthew. That way, when he puts his head on it, just like you know. I mean, then, honestly, everyone would pick on him. That's not the way to go, obviously. That's not what you want to do. Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging out like a yo-yo. Wake me up before you go, go. Now we're sitting in here. I don't want to sit yet. Can I open the window at least? Get some fresh air? Let me guess. This door is locked. Now, this is the end of the chapter. I guarantee this is the end of the chapter. We're going to sit down. And we're going to wake back up in the office. And we've covered what the fuck is started. What started with our childhood issues. Man, I feel so much worse. I think that was important for all of us to see. Because now we can relate with John a lot more. Or, well, I can relate with John. And I feel a lot worse for him. So as far as we know, he's a struggling writer. That's what we're getting at. He's a struggling writer. So there's act two. He's a struggling writer, and he has a terrible past. Um, he grew up without his family. He grew up without parents. They died in a car accident, and he was sent to an orphanage where he was bullied and treated like shit. Anyway, the patient has admitted to the truth. However far back it may be, one illusion of his, his mind's perfect world has been revealed. The next attempts must be delicate. His mind will be alert. All right. I'm sorry, John. That your childhood was cruel. They probably had to. You probably had to suppress a lot of that. I needed you to remember something real. Imagining a child's paradise can be painless for the mind, but the truth is rarely painless. I can imagine. 
You remembered, even though there was pain. We must find the truth. There's a lot of foreshadowing as well, One isn't there? One more question, John. Do you remember the last game you played? The last game I played? Oh, yeah, I do. I do remember. I played the, uh, I chose the hot air balloon. Thank you, John. John, I, I would have chosen that anyway, to be new. honest. I like hot air balloons. I want you to try and clear your mind. Just like a blank sheet of paper. I'd like you to imagine anything you want and take me there. It can be anything, John. Okay. Playing games is just a distraction, John. Oh, shut up. Shut it up. All right, see, now every time you finish a level or an act, it boards it up. Okay, that seems like we're going next. I'm not going to go there just yet. That's going to be Act 3. It looks like we're going to... I don't know where we're going, but that's probably where we're going to end. This is probably Act 5. Or Act 4 or something. Check it out. How is this? See? It's, is it, it's coming along now. See? See? Every act we finish, another piece gets replaced. And the mirror is staying... Bro we're going to get a key. And again, it's blue. So the only colors we've seen so far in this game are blue, red, and yellow. RG, wait. Yeah. All right, here we go. Was this, do you think this is like a job interview? Or I want you to submit to the memory. It does look like a hospital door, doesn't it? All right, well, what are we, write a story, okay? It was a beautiful day on the beach. He could feel the sun on his face and hear the sounds of the sea. As he looked out from his palace, he thought to himself, a glass of wine would be perfect. Okay, it's all just making sense now, you know what I mean? Take a drink. Exactly like that. Perfect. Could be therapy. Yeah, it could be therapy. Why did it stop, John? Is there nothing else that comes to mind? What about me? Am I real? Can you recall? Jesus, so is this all in his mind? That's just messed up, isn't it? He's really, he's really cheesing you. Because, yeah, we don't see him. We just see a tape player, don't we? Yes, John. I remember that day well. Do you recall what we spoke about? Do you think he pushed that bitch out the window? Do you remember we saw that woman jumping over the edge? Was that in his story? Or do you think he pushed his, like, orphanage runner out the window or something? That one in particular is special. Looks like a moth or a bat or something. The Mothman prophecies. There's a red. Red and blue colors again, y'all. What is this? Take a number? Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. What are we choosing? This is something. Are we visiting somebody in this hospital or are we registering? This is a mental hospital, bro. I'm going to register. Number three. I'm admitting myself. Good, John. Follow the memory. So I'm correct. I if so if I chose visiting, I'd be in denial. Right? I'm not in denial. I will accept. If you saw what we just saw, you'd understand. Am I supposed to go to the dock? I'm supposed to go that way, but I'm gonna keep walking. Just to unlock it all. I can actually enter a code. Do you think we'll figure it out? Oh, there's codes on every door. I see. Okay, well, let's go here. Oh, do you think it'd be 003? 
Let's try it. I'm going to try it. What time is it? Oh, shit. That's bad. I just looked at the time when it last saved. 11.06. That was six minutes ago. That's a long time ago. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. I, it's good to check it just in case. All right. Well, let's see. We'll see where it is. I'm oh, sorry. that's rude. That's too far. I should Oh, man. Your childhood was cruel. I know you went through a lot of pain. I needed you to remember something real. He said something different this time, though. Imagining a child's paradise oh, maybe he didn't. painless for the mind. But the truth is rarely painless. That's true. You remembered, even though there was pain. We must. Why wouldn't it save it at the truth. start of the next. Oh, because we weren't there yet. We didn't actually start Act 3 yet. Time. Do you remember the last game we played? Thank you, John. John, I want to try something new. Sorry, guys, my bad. To try and clear but I do want to try it in the event that maybe it will work. Okay, where's... Just like a blank sheet of paper. I'd like you to imagine anything you want and take me there. It can be anything, John. Damn it, I hate it when it doesn't save. That's brutal, brutal, brutal. Well, I'm, I'm still going to walk to the end just so it unlocks the face recreating itself. Hence the name, The Shattering. Yeah, it all makes sense. I'm sure you can wait until the end of the game and completely redo it, and then the ending is right here, and you got to know who you are. I think that's what it is, finding out who you are. All right, guys. So yeah, it definitely looks definitely a hospital. I want you to submit to the memory. You make it painless. All right, we'll let this play out. Exactly like that. Bam. I uh, Do you guys think that he murdered somebody? Because I have this suspicion that John murdered somebody. Why did it stop, John? And he's getting... They're just, they're, Is there nothing else? They're trying to decide. What about me? Yeah, exactly, Am Funky. Really? This has all been like rec Can recalling it. It starts with him on the, on the, on the, the chair and we're trying to figure out why we got to where we got to it's one of those games that you definitely yes, have to start John. join with I us at the start day well. so do you recall what we spoke about that one in particular is special all right let's not mess this up now this is an awesome game this is and the cool thing is no 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 i didn't mean to what did i hit Bro, I didn't mean to... Oh, I hit the wrong one. Oh, my God. I, Damn it. <laughs> this is just wasting my time. This is so annoying. I accidentally hit that. I, that's the wrong one. You got to hit the right one. I don't want to change the story up. Why is there no saves? Jesus Christ. I am sorry, guys. I got to be more careful. I'm sorry, John. Ugh. Urgh. Your childhood was cruel. Damn it. I know you went through a lot. My bad, guys. I'm sorry. I needed you to remember something. God, real. that pisses me off. What's up, Imagine Grim? How you doing? A child's paradise can be painless for the mind, but the truth is rarely painless. I don't think it's that intense, Sofa. You remember, but even though there was pain, I, I honestly, Mikkel, I kind of hope he did. I know that sounds bad, but at the One same time, you got to look at it from this perspective. Do you remember the, the children? Thank you. The children in the game, um, John, sorry, the children in the orphanage probably new. had similar experiences, but this kid didn't to bully people. That's the thing. Mine. Just like a blank sheet of paper. I'm just going to do laps. I'd like you to imagine anything you want and take me there. It can be anything, John. All right, let's go, guys. I'm going to quickly run to the end of the hallway. I forgot I could sprint. Run, Forrest, run. Okay, and I'm going to make sure I, I, I hit... The correct button. Thank you. Let's go. I shot the sheriff. 
But I did not shoot the I deputy. Want you to submit to the memory. I'm just waiting for that wine to pop in, bro. Where that wine at? Where that wine at? Where that wine at? There it is. Exactly like that. Where did it all go, John? No, but for real, I think the pistol, the revolver, the 357 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. Why did it stop, John? Is there nothing else that comes No, 44 to... Magnum is more powerful than 357. What about me? 44 Magnum. Am I real? Can you recall? Yes, John. I remember that day well. Me too. That one in particular. All right, guys, I'll make special. sure I, I am admitting myself. Reg, I got it. Perfect. Now, here's the thing that's going to piss me off, guys. If it, Good, if the John. 003 Follow doesn't the work, and that was all for naught, I will be the saltiest of salt. And nothing is going to happen. I really should know better. I'll try. Didn't work. We don't have a key card. Fucking god damn it. I'm sorry. Yeah, Grant, you're taking the L on this one. <laughs> as soon as someone submits an idea to me, I have to venture into it. I'm like, oh, maybe it will work. Maybe we'll get a key card. Oh, man. He is definitely in psych it's like psychotherapy Welcome right back, now. Mr. Evans. Please. Take a seat. Really? There you go. This is where it was going to save. Two poles. The therapy continues to progress. The patient's mind is quick to embrace emptiness. The stimulus of our past was able to transcend the walls. He has reached a critical crossroads. Emptiness or the truth? The truth is very important. And the truth will set you free. No, I don't think I did, Matthew. Because uh, that's only on the uh, other safe. That would be Welcome on the other back, safe, Mr. Evans. like in, in the Please hotel room. Take a seat. Can I look around your office first? All right. Oh, got to weigh myself. 60 kilograms, it looks like. He's a light motherfucker. Dude, he's like 100 and... That can't be right. Let's see this. 60 kilograms to pounds. Pounds. He's a light motherfucker. All right. Well, anyway, he's malnourished. Okay. John, sit the fuck down. At least he's not being yelled at, you know, like every five seconds. Just start rummaging through his shit. It's on this side. 1995. So keep in mind, he admitted himself in 1990. I don't know if you guys saw the original date. Today? He was admitted in 90. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. All right. And how about your daily routine? Did you have a chance to try my advice? Not yet. Don't be a don't be a negative Nancy. Let's try and get Remember better. Remember to at least try, Mr. Evans. The first step comes from within. We don't know what he recommended. <laughs> All right. Let's start something new for this session. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen these before. What does this mug say? Keep talking. It's quite simple. I'd like to ask you some questions about what you see. Is he about to sm Oh, that's a stamp. I thought he was about to open... Don't worry about your answers. There is no wrong choice. All right, guys. Take your time. I see... You can either see a creature like a pig. See, like, the nostrils. Or you can see two people bending down to lift something up. First, tell me what you see. Two people carrying something. Two people watering plants. I saw people carrying something. Do they seem happy to you? I don't think so. And what do you red think colors? The red See, I told you. Negativity, anger or anger. Last question. That's what I think. Do you see yourself there? Not at all. Thank you, Mr. Evans. Interesting. I always find these kind of things interesting. It's very too. important that we have structure in our lives, and a job is a great way to start a healthy routine. Yeah, it came out today, Nicholas. It's brand new. I've marked some jobs I think you would be good at. Creative writer. 
Take a look. Finance analyst. Maybe something will catch your eye. Well, we know he took the I creative writer. To seeing you again soon. Bus driver. All right. Well, we knew he became a writer. Then he just fucks off. So that image is going to be stained as a negative image because it's red. So the game is actually asking the player in that moment, do you think red represents anger? Do you think it represents negativity or love? In my, and I've been saying it, I think it's negative. So I'm going with what I thought it was to see how that'll change things. Yeah. I don't know, man. But I guarantee if you saw them watering something, that would be love. It's like you're working together to make something grow, right? All right, so we're... Oh, shit. Are we being discharged? All right, well, can you let me out? I can't go that way? Hey, can I get out? Thanks, thanks. Hello. So definitely a mental hospital. It's like a mental prison though. This is a prison. So this is a medical ward of a prison, 100%, bro. So my guess is either he's super insane and they have to lock him up this way, or he did something criminally he did something criminal, and so they they deduced he was insane. It's one of those things. That is looking more like his childhood right there. No jump scare. Just like a guy pops up. That is so cliche, but it would get me. Four-digit key card and confirm with... Oh. <laughs> the, the pound sign. Dude's like, dude, you gotta hit pound. Well, and I'm like, no, you don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> I was wrong. You were right. You do what are you talking about, man? <laughs> you don't. Chapter one, the job search. Why is it this old timey music if this is the mid 90s? Oh, man, there's a lot. They just keep reminding you about this thing. I don't know what those are. The clock? Everything from his childhood is being re remembered. Uh-oh. Bro. So he spent time here. We understand that. He brought his Walkman. It all comes back full circle. Exact same thing that was just in the other bed as before. We have access to the window, though. So we must not be on, like, Suicide Watch or anything. Okay. Just gonna look around. Look in these drawers. Anything in here? Do you think we're gonna find his teddy bear in one of these? Fighting anxiety. Bingo cards. His dad's hat. Like, there's all sorts of stuff. His teddy bear. That's a good memory he has. But also, it's a bad memory because of what the kids did to his teddy. I'm so mad at those kids, man. I think that really just pissed me the fuck off. Man, look at this computer. So, it's freelance. So, now we can... And the sound of a computer... Right there. That is the logo for the devs, uh... The dev logo. I can't remember the name of the dev. What the dev team is called. It's like. I, don't, I can't recall. Jobs in America. There's never anything for me. What the hell is going on behind me? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Dude, I just. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be scary, but. Cook. Welder. Construction. Janitor. Doctor. Plumber. Do we have to pick something realistic? Welders make good coin, man. We're a journeyman welder? 
Nope. Wouldn't be a good welder. What else? Nothing that w I would build would last long. Yeah, he's super self-depreciate. Self, what is it again? Self-depreciate, appreciating, something like that. I'd manage to burn water. Janitor. Couldn't be a janitor, too much work. Well, okay, well, plumber. I hate getting dirty. Doctor. Doctor, too much responsibility. Writer. Honestly, that makes sense. With the amount of shit he's gone through, he is the perfect writer. The writers go through a lot. Anyway, after days of searching for clues, the detective finally got a break in the form of a cryptic note. What was the note? Follow the blue balloon tonight at 9 p.m. Interesting. All right, well, where's the blue balloon? Right the fuck here. <laughs> where's the balloon? In your face. That's a nice color. I like it. It's going into his story. I dig it. I can't fu Oh. Okay. What if this whole game has just been a story? You know what I mean? Wait, what if this whole time it's just been his story about Lynn Peabody? The air was electric and the night held its breath. The hair stood up on the back of his neck as he stepped forward. Where's the period, bro? Where's the period, bro? I'll, I'll put the period in. Hold on. There you go. It's got to be in the right spot. That'll do. Whatever. We get it. A shot rang out. The cold body didn't offer answers, but he didn't need them anyway. He finally found a lead. Now, the work can begin. Alright, we got ourselves a rose. Creative writer. Required CV and short story about dogs. There's the balloon. Alright, here we go, guys. So we got the blood. Shot in the head. The revolver. Which we can pick up. Not loaded at all. Is there a casing? Yes. We've got a casing. One bullet was found and a red rose. A red ass rose. Apply. Bam. Send it. Go to the crack. Whoa, where am I? I'm being studied. Yeah, bro. I don't know. I don't know what's real and what's not at this point. I, I think it's funny how, like, this person has such free reign over this hospital area. You know what I mean? It's a little choppy sometimes, this game, I've noticed. It's good to see you, Mr. Evans. You too. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm going to be I'm gonna be optimistic. And how did the job search go? Did you find anything? Uh, I tried. Maybe there's something. Good. So you That's can speak spirit. positively or negatively. Okay, Mr. Evans. How about we try another ink block? Sure. Same as before. I'll ask some questions. Let me guess. We're going to go through some no shit, and then there's going to be three every time. So then we're going to eventually get that one. It looks like people high-fiving. I see people... Or I saw... Two, see, it, I do see a face now that now that it's put in front of me. I don't know why it's choppy right now. Like, the game is kind of choppy. I don't know. They look like bears. To be honest, that's the first thing I saw. How does that make you feel? Um, I don't know. I think it'd be cool. I'll say anxious. And what about now? What do you see? Whoa, trippy. I don't know what I see, to be honest with you. A moth or a butterfly. Okay. 
I'd see a butterfly because moths aren't super colorful. Thank you. Quite interesting. I yeah, see two bears high fiving. Perspective can be powerful. That's enough. What's up, Louis? A lot, my dude. Good luck, Mr. Evans. I think you want the job more than you let show, which isn't a bad thing. We'll meet again the same time next week. Sure. Do I go out this way again? Oh, what the hell? Got my pills. Ah, oh, here's the next door to delve into this. See, that looks like a moth. That legit looks like a Mothman prophecy right there, bro. Like a moth to the flame. Remember we went the other direction last time? We had to buzz in. One second. Can I actually go into the emerge? Exit is this way. So, no, we're still in the hospital, guys. We're still a resident here. That much is clear. Waiting room, doctor's office. Oh. Am I supposed to go to the waiting room? These are all boarded up. Yeah, see, I can't go through here. They're all boarded up. Okay. Let's just head to where we're supposed to go. Ah, this is where the reception is. What? Ah, chapter two, the interview. Why is it locked? Do I have to check in? Try registration again? I keep taking registration. The door is locked. Can I buzz? Who's next? Number three? Mr. John Evans. Yes, sir. You're next. Coming in. Oh, I don't like the fact that I'm... I'm dead. You know I'm dead. Whoa. Why are they looking at me? You gotta be faster to fit through the chairs. And you know we did. We keep getting stuck. Oh, we do make it, though. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I made it! I made it! <laughs> you had to beat Mr. him. Evans. Yes, sir. Hello. Please. Sit down. Thanks. Whoa, hello. Okay, Mr. Evans. Let's cut right to the chase. Let's take a look at your resume. Thanks. He seems very friendly. Here you go. There it is. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. Not exactly the qualifications we're looking for. Fuck! How about the short story from the job posting? What if it's really good? You might like it, sir. Blue balloon. Yeah, they might like it. They might like it. You wrote this? Yes, sir. I did. It's not bad, but I'm not convinced. Oh. Bruh. How about you prove to me right here, right now, that you've got the skills? Do you want me to write something right now? Write us a short story. Any topic. Sometimes the best choice is to hide. You can hear the beast coming, but there's nothing you can do. So you choose to hide and pray it passes you by. There wasn't any time to save someone else. You would tell yourself until the end of days. The only thing is, if you asked anyone else, they would tell you. Locking you away was the best thing they ever did. I think that's enough. What do you think? A little cliche, but well written. Welcome aboard, John. You've got the job. Really? Well, I mean, obviously. How else would we do it, right? Thank you. It's truly an honor to work for a National Enquirer. Fuck. <laughs> it's like you got to find these stupid fake articles, you know. Johnny Depp snorts blow while doing two hookers or something like that. And it's completely wrong. It's a guy like, 
it's just Johnny Depp, like, just, you know, out walking his dog or something like that. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's the Mothman prophecies. Hello, Mr. Evans. Nice to see you again. You too, Doc. How's it going? How's it hanging? Slut to the left, bro. Doing? Why? What's going on? I think better. And did you have the job interview? How did it go? I got it. It was scary, but I got it. I don't be, don't be, it was easy, because it wasn't. Obviously, them looking down on you, that feeling he got, it was scary, but I got it. Congratulations, Mr. Evans. That's great news. Let's continue our work with the ink blots. I know they're confusing, but I think we're making progress. This one's what way more colorful. Mind when you look at this? A set of lips, maybe? Panthers climbing a mountain or a trapped dragon. I can see the panthers now that you mention that. But it's not really a mountain, per se. Um, a trapped dragon. I can see the dragon. I do see the dragon more than the panthers. I saw the panthers, but the middle doesn't make sense. So I'm going to... Whoa, whoa, sit down, bro. You're not done. Trapped dragon. What name would you give this picture? Rimjaw Rango, The Escape. The Escape. Would you associate this with weakness or strength? I'd say strength, to be honest. Last question, Mr. Evans. Which would you choose to be? A dragon or a Fucking panther? dragon, bro. Thank you, Mr. Evans. That's enough for now. I think we're getting somewhere. Good luck at your new job. Well, I'm the way I looked at it, Louis, was it was hunched over. Like, we were looking at the, its spine, and its wings were off to the side. So it's like it was ducking down, trapped inside. You know what I'm saying? That's how I saw the trap dragon, anyway. But that's the cool thing about a mind is it's up for interpretation. Like, see what I mean? There's the spine. That's its back. There's its wings. So it's like kind of cocooned looking down. Like, there's its head. You see what I mean? It's not supposed to look exactly like the image you think. But that's the whole point of them. That's the whole point of the exercise. But to me, those don't look like panthers either. They look more like beavers, not panthers. Anyway. But I'm trying to think positively. I'm trying to get him out of the hole. You know, not into it. So am I going to emerge now? Why am I going to emerge? Do I go to the waiting room or... Reception, exit, medical... Uh, probably physiotherapy. Or, or psychotherapy, not physio. Derp. Can I go to physio? Psychotherapy? Keep saying physio. Wrong thing altogether. Psychotherapy. Ooh. I'll have some. Apparently, I won't have some. I'll go fuck myself. Hello? What's that? A light? I need a light. Chapter 3, Office. I love the slight little tiny bits of color. I think it's really cool. All right, let's get to work writing. Work rules. For all the workers, all work is set up on the desk. Marked employee name. Disc can be found in the work cabin in the hallway. All employees need to finish their task before 5 p.m. Oh, I should probably answer the phone. Let's get started, John. You'll find everything you need on your disc. Okay. My disc is where? Work cabin in the hallway. Hey, Greg, how's it hanging? What are you looking at? Get back to work. Oh, sorry. I wasn't looking at nothing. I'm just here for water. Okay, where's the where's the hallway? Anybody know where the hallway is? Hi. I'm going to go this way. It's kind of a maze, but I think that's the point. Here we go. Overthinking it. There's our disc. Guys, for those of you who are too young, this is called a floppy disc. And we used it to store small amounts of information. You could probably only get about 10 photos on it. A video out of the question. I'll never forget the first time my friend 
we were at my friend's house and he came over. He's like, bro, I'll be right back. And he runs to his, he runs to, runs to the, his room and he comes out and he's got about 15 to 20 floppy disks, right? And they're all in his hands and he fans them out. And as he's doing it, he's like, bro, packed with porn. And it was, the, I laughed so hard because the way he did it, like, it was like, he was trying to sell me like, you know, a, a used car. He's like, bro packed with porn and it was just like look at the selection and he had them labeled and shit it was so funny oh man the old days the old days oh goodness gracious all right task for today a children's story take a disc from the shared shelf leave your work that's pretty easy create a new file once upon a time there was a young boy whose dream was to become... Can I fill in the blanks? A knight or a king? I like a knight, bro. It's cliche, but I like it. A knight. That guy took a seat. <laughs> He's like, nah, bruh. <laughs> a brave knight. I like it. All right, what now? Next one? Now what? My Twinkie stash, bro. What's that? Tranquilizers? Jesus. Okay. Alright, now what? Alright, what now? It's 8 o'clock. So I have 5. Now, okay, what do I do? That end of the story, right there. That's it. All right. Well, see you, Ted. I'm clocking out for the day. I like the music. It's kind of like... Actually, Danielle, I am. Whiskey and scotch. Various types. I do like a nice stiff drink sometimes. It's really lovely. Okay, what am I doing now? I... Bro, it won't let me continue. Am I missing something? The fuck? Come on, man. I don't want to be looking. I hate it when they do that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's turn off. Alright, I picked the knight. Now what? Hi. Yeah, brother, I'm trying. But I, I lost my motivation, apparently. Oh! There is a light bulb. Thanks. Thank you, man. Wait a minute. Why? One day, while he was resting on a hammock... Why am I going from station to station? I see him. Wake him up. A royal messenger came to him with a message. Oh, this is cool. I like this. <laughs> Look at the carrier pigeon. That's awesome. Well, that's that's basically scotch, right? Leo, that's scotch whiskey, yeah. On behalf of the king, the following is announced. The royal princess was brutally kidnapped by a monster living in the cursed cave. The one who dares to defeat the monster and save the princess will become the knight of, a, of the king. Hmm. Defeat the beast. The boy, however, needed a proper weapon to fight the bees. But where could he find one? I think the west or the east? Uh, I prefer the... When it, when it comes to west and east, at least we're in my hometown. I prefer the west. Alright, next, next station. Let's go. Next station. Dude, this is cool. Alright, next one up. After a few days of wandering in the woods, our hero finally found a magical sword lit let me guess he couldn't pull it out according to old stories the sword could only be removed under a full moon it's cliche but it's a little different there's a little twist on it okay where's the full moon next station oh we gotta go all the way back it seems very impractical to have to jump from station to station full moon oh next station 
Okay, now let's try it. Aha, we got it. That's awesome. The boy pulled out the sword, found a shield abandoned nearby, and was ready to fight the beast. All right, let's fight this little guy. Look at him go. Defeat the beast. Go. That's possible. That could be what we're doing. Thanks for the sub, Vlad. That's what happened in the ca cave. That guy just got Wu-Tanged. Johnny Walker. Kevin, you know I love the creativity, but I need you to focus on the job. This is an important one for us. 21 year? That's... Those are pricey, so... And Johnny Walker, it depends what you get, but... Sounds good to me. I would drink shit out of that. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway. My sweet spot for price... If you're going scotch, my sweet spot for price and taste is 18 year. Anything 18 year is like a good... You don't feel like you're draining the wallet. Uh, 21 tastes better, but... Yeah. And I had to go all the way back. Why am I going all the way back? Good afternoon, Mr. Evans. That's weird. Please, make yourself comfortable. So, tell me. How are you feeling about your new job? It's it is stressful. Progress takes effort. It does. Time, Nothing Mr. worth Evans. doing is easy. It pays off in the long term. I think one day you'll agree with me. Do you think staying still would have been better than what you've achieved? It's not always black and white. Fair enough, Mr. Evans. We can keep going. We have one more ink blot to look at. I think you'll like one. this one. Oh, it Do is. Do you see anything familiar? Looks like a seahorse. Uh, th those pink ones look like seahorses. The the blues look like crabs. A volcano exploded life in the ocean. That's exactly what I saw, bro. Is there chaos or order? It looks like it looks peaceful. Order. And how does that make you feel? Comfortable. At home. Thank you. Those responses have been very enlightening. Hey, Zatnam, how's it going, going bud? In these last sessions, Mr. Evans. Our time is up for today. But I want you to keep your mind open to new opportunities. Okay. So that's the last ink blot. So what does that mean? These are the ones we've been shown. See how this one is all darkened and this, the color is... So this is our last time. Does that mean we're actually going to be successful in our story? Because we don't know what happens. The waiting room. Are we heading to the waiting room or are we heading out? We're heading to the waiting room. But I'm going to check this. Yeah, it's locked. Okay. Chapter 4, home. It's weird. Certain parts like lag in this game, I've noticed. It's weird. Is it weird, Dan? Yeah, it is. Now, we've come a long way since the hotel room. Hey, guys. Even though it wasn't that long ago. Honestly, that does. Like, standing back, does it not look like seahorses? The pink blots look like seahorses. The blue ones look like crabs, and they're holding, like, a little leaf. It's a party. It's a fiesta under the sea. Under the sea. It's literally like the Little Mermaid song times. That's what that is. The Little Mermaid, bro. Okay, what are we doing in this bed? Are we sitting down? Okay, what's going on here? Do I? Oh, do I have to focus on it, don't I? Yeah. Hey, Ice, it's called The Shattering. Just came out today. It's awesome. I'm digging it a lot. Some I don't know why it's so laggy right now. There's our Siggies. I'll shut that off. Much more modern. It must be more present day. Finally the weekend, I can get up at a later... So this one, the most comfortable one, is there. You again. Stop lagging. Jesus. That's annoying, guys. The Choco Flakes, that reminds me of childhood. Good memories of childhood. That's why the milk was good, because it reminded of, um, of good times with his family, where his parents were around. That's why I think the milk was positive. So constantly, I feel like this game has been questioning you and asking you what makes you comfortable. Do you know what I mean? Like, what you think is this. 
Can I take that lo the latch off? Hi, Sparrow. It won't work. You again. Hey, Cooney, how's it going? Oh, I can close that. Oh, other side. It's 1997, so that's two years after that first, or that, well. Where's the phone? Oh, right here. John, we just got a call from the client. Yeah. I know it's Saturday, but we really need the next chapter of the story by 5 p.m. today. Bruh. I'm counting on you, John. I mean, obviously, the... Um... I see bright things in the future for you. All right. Well, it looks like we're not getting a chance to go outside today. There's nothing in these things. I always like to check, though. I think it's just for atmosphere, but... All right, well, I can do it. I just need to focus and get some peace and quiet. Turn... Yeet. Nope. Can't watch it. Can't watch it. What's up, Mackenzie? Prison was no home. But visitor... You can tell he's tired. See how there's like a trail? But visitors were still welcome. It's a piano. Use the broom? Oh, dunk, 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 dunk. Okay. He has an anger problem. That much is clear. Let's get back to... Oh, my goodness. What? Oh, it's a butterfly. The noise. Wait. Wait. I just moved him upstairs, and I don't want to start off on the wrong foot with anyone. Wow, that's really nice of her. Oh, he's falling well, in love. Let me know if it gets too loud again. Dude, I guarantee you. Oh, dear. That was nice of her to come down and be like, oh, sorry about that. What's going on? Finished Act 3. All right. Damn, bro. So did he get the thing done? The patient seems to be stable and ready for the next session. I'll try to reason with him about the latest events. Though we struggle, I proceed with optimism. Dr. Richards. This is Dr. Richards. So he has probably an anxiety, and he's probably not used to people John, treating him well. you're back. What happened? I don't know. I don't, where am I? It wasn't time yet. I feel like you were just getting started. Oh, we weren't supposed to leave that memory yet. Are That's what it was. Okay, John? I think so. Okay, let's keep going. 150 cc's per hour. Yes, that will work nicely. Let's keep going, John. I don't really know You're what doing we're doing, well. Cooney. Not yet. Your responses to the images were very interesting. Even looking back now. Do you remember your favorite? Of course I do. Look how dark everything is. See? This one. Oh, wait. That wasn't my favorite. My favorite was the under the sea one. But th these ones filled us with dread, remember? These ones filled us... It, it, they want us to pick this. Why? Because we, we answered in a positive light. Answered negatively. Answered negatively. We didn't even answer that one. That's not what we chose. We chose something else. Some things don't change. Of course not. If they were still now, your favorite. I'd like to try and pick up where we left off. Your work was going well. You were even putting in extra hours at home. Word. But that wasn't the most important memory, was it, John? The piano. There was a lot of piano mentions in the game, wasn't there? I 
I guarantee you the girl upstairs. She probably fell in love. She was probably like flabbergasted with her beauty or something. We're not ready for act four yet, guys. Like, look, literally, literal butterflies. Thanks, John. Remember. Hands down. Did you see the picture? It's time, John. You fell in love. It's time to find her. Well, where... Let me guess. She's dead. The love. So this might be a good memory for him. Before we go into that room, though, let's go over here and rebuild some of our face. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Two more acts to go, guys. Two more acts to go. Let's do this. I think two more. Make an excellent progress. Now, this might be a good one for him. This could be a good one for him. The apartment. Act 4. The pursuit of his memories has finally led the patient to her. He must recall not only his memories, but his emotions as... Snowman, thank you for the follow. Over on Twitch. Anyway, he must recall not only his memories, but his emotions as well. He must face what overwhelms him and leads him to despair. And finally to uh what has shattered him oh shit the woman that jumped off the balcony so you think his misses oh man that could be it so this is probably gonna be a nice memory but also a very sad one energy's failure saves the theater ah you never know what you can find dibs that's such a cliche place to leave it you know obviously we're not allowed to go up. can i go down no it's all broken all right bro don't run from your past just just go in is this ours no this is definitely not our apartment but it could be it looks well no though that's our clock i don't know what that was about Cool looking shower. It's a rain shower. It's actually kind of a dope apartment, bro. Nice van. And it looks like a woman's apartment, but it, at the same time, it doesn't. You know what I mean? Like, that is what's happening. Sparrow, thank you for the follow. Hmm. Just eat some pizza? Why not? Alright, my phone's ringing. I guarantee you it's his girl. I want to know more about that. All right, all right. I'll answer the door. I'll answer the phone. Hello? Hi, John. It was great seeing you last night. I was wondering if you're free for dinner. Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, we're going to get ready. Perfect. I'll see you at 7. She's coming. I need to clean up this mess. Quick, clean it up, bro. Make your bed. Make your bed. Good boy. Don't sit there. You ain't done. Clean up. Man, you liquor on the floor? What's wrong with you? Jesus, people. No way, we're not done. Hold on, I'll let you in. Oh, no, it's clean. I'll let her in. Wow, seeing her fills him with color. Um, is she in? Hi. Here's her purse. So she sat here. Dude, you gotta you gotta pull her chair out for it, oh dude. Hey, Desmond. That first time we met, I thought you were going to kill me for interrupting your work. <laughs> ah. I'm glad I can't believe we she's met here. that day. Who knew neighbors could have so much in common? Truth. John, can you pour me another glass of wine? Certainly. Yeah, I'd love to. There you go, madam. It's a, it's 2000. It's, it's my personal favorite. Can I pour myself one? 
Sit back down, bro. Sit back down. Oh, I don't have one. Oh, what's that? I'll be right back, my dear. It oh, like time froze for a minute. I didn't know you had such a collection. Oh, she moved. But I guess that creativity must come from somewhere. Yeah. Which one do you think I should read? I'd love to borrow one. Uh, Romeo and Juliet is a classic. The Metamorphosis of Lucius. Romeo and Juliet. Can't go wrong with that. Wait, is that is that a sign of the times? Is that a sign of things to come? I love this piece. It reminds me of when I was younger. My father would always turn up the radio when it came on. What are we thinking? Which of these is your favorite? A little smooth jazz, breakfast classics, night songs. Oh man, I like the smooth jazz. Hell yeah. Pop on a little, you know. Thank you, Joe. A little Miles I Davis. Had a wonderful time. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Bye. <laughs> the arrow. I love it. He was struck with Cupid's arrow. Yeah, it just whips out a Cannibal Corpse album. Personal favorite. I gotta say, I think I, it's, I like the imagery, man. I keep saying, oh, I'm stuck in a room. Am I supposed to look for a specific thing? We don't have a, we have a, wait. Do you think I'm maybe supposed to look for the other half of that photo? Because we only had half the photo. Nothing is interactable right now. Unless I'm supposed to grab the, uh, the arrow out of the wall. Well, no, we're just stuck in this room. Oh! It looks shiny. Okay, oh, maybe up the ladder? No. What am I looking? Oh, wait, go back this way. Wait, why are we taking this book? Tale of Cupid and Psyche? Oh! Gotcha. Ooh. Tale of a Murderous... Oh, there's a bit of everything in that book. I'm not sure if that's what we want. There's the bow. Bro, you didn't shoot her with a bow, did you? Psyche. Unquenchable longing chasing me in this world. Searching... Eros. Where art thou? Where? My dream of my... My dream of my dream. Searching Eros. Are you supposed to shoot the golden apple? No. Up! Point it up! Oh, good shot. Good shot. I don't know what I just did, but... Oh, shit! Am I supposed to stand in the way? I'm not even sure. Can I go retrieve it? That's the... Oh, whoa. Gorgeous. Eros, my love. Aurora, brightest child. Morning star, fragrant flower, golden butterfly. We're just taking stuff now, bro. So we have two items. It looks like we need more items. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, it's gone now. 
<laughs> there she is. That's her. There's the Romeo and Juliet book. Bro, you didn't stab her, did you? What is going on? The music's very nice, isn't it? Like... Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Oh, dear. Romeo, thus from my lips, by thine my sin is purged. That's a classic, a Shakespearean classic. All right. His hat keeps showing up, bro. I'll just walk in. What's the point of that? I guess storage. Hello? Hello? Imagine having a, a terrace like that. What's the point of that? Oh my. Oh, I had to get the I had to stab first. Juliet, then have my lips the sin that they have took. Man, can't you just say kiss me you fool instead of all this crazy shit? Yeet. No, do people actually speak like that? I don't know. fire is burning sin from thy lips oh trespass sweetly urge give me my sin again because they know they're not supposed to they're not supposed to do it their families forbid this love but we don't care meet me under our favorite tree a lot of back and forth bro Nowadays, you don't you don't write poems. You just say, "Finna smash." That's about it. <laughs> That's all you say. You just swipe. You don't even say anything. You swipe right. That pretty much means everything. That's a beautiful tree. Dun dun na dun dun. Ba ba dun dun. Every time I walk back this way and then I go back the other direction. Oh, wait, what's that? See, I'm, I keep seeing, like, shades of the night. You know what I mean? That night we saw in our short story. Okay, it's hard to spin. Okay. The forbidden fruit. We've seen, we've seen the Rubik's Cube quite a few times. What am I missing? Because this has a slight aura to it. It's slight. It's not major. See, and then you go this way, and it's a dead end. You see that? So you have to walk a certain... A certain way. Or is it like a tree somewhere? Like a picture of a tree besides that big one? Because it ain't having it right now. I thought maybe focusing on it. Seeing there's butterflies. There's a lot of imagery here. Why won't it let me do it? Just run in a circle, bro. Run. Do laps. Maybe she wants you to do laps. Alright, go the other way. See, if you go this way, it turns into a dead end. Right? Do you guys see any trees? I'm kind of lost right now. I must be missing something. Oh. Pfft. Oh, wow. Okay. That engagement ring. So he left that for her. He left that for her. So we got the engagement ring. He's ready to pop that C, babe. I mean that C. 
that cue. <laughs> All right, guys, we gotta. We're about to ask uh, the four words that will uh, take everyone's breath away. What will she say? That's not the four words I was talking about. Does she really love me? Bro, that is romantic AF. <sighs> All right, man, get your courage up. What if I'm not ready? You're ready, bro. You ready. She makes you feel some type of way. What if she says no? She won't say no. Dude, look at this. It's gorgeous. Listen to her beautiful voice. She's singing. She's waiting. She's reading. Here it goes. Dude, if she says no, that's probably what does it. Breaks his heart. I don't think she could say no, man. Look at her ruby reds. Make me a sandwich. Will you make me a sandwich? Will you marry me? <gasps> yes. Yes. John. My man John. He slammed Duncan. But now, see how we're surrounded by red? Now red is the color of love. So what's happening? You see what I mean? Yellow slash gold, whatever. And red. Now red, we're seeing nothing but red. But it's positive imagery. Right? As opposed to the negative imagery. So I wonder if things change depending on how you perceive them. This is definitely the church bells. Getting married. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Fail, get him next time. <laughs> oh man, John, you gonna look dap. You're gonna need a, that is actually a ball and suit. I mean, it, it's a tux. You're gonna need your, you're gonna need your bow tie and you're gonna need your cummerbund. You gotta look styling, bro. Take your uh, boutonniere. Pop that boutonniere right on. There you go. Put your watch. And play her your favorite song. Apparently not. But then the clock is also still showing red. Alright. What now? Turn off the light. Put on the suit. Answer the phone. You got your arrows there. You need a key. Where's my key? In the fridge, of course. Just kidding. <gasps> See the milk again. There's the fucking milk. The key is right there, bro. Oh, that's a good pizza. There's always time for pizza. You have to just keep eating the pizzas? Hungry, I got an achievement. <laughs> Eat the pizzas. Where's the pizza? All right, what's happening? All right, I get it. Dude, the, the bells are going away. Do you hear that? Oh, there, there's his tie. I was like, where's the fucking tie? Is there anything in the wash? No. Are we ready? What are we missing? Pants. Pants. That's what we're missing. <laughs> Just walk out. Shh. I knew I forgot something. The wine. Oh, a little calm, ner calm in the nerves. Calm more nerves? No, we don't need that much. New Hope Stout. Those are beers. Key now? Pants. Where's the pants? Bro, I'm getting sick of this. Where's his pants? Oh! Oh, nice shoes, bro. Oh, those are nice. Dude, you're gonna be looking good. Are you ready? Where's your pants? I'm concerned that there's no pants. <sighs> you can do this, John. You can do this. Let's do it. Just... Oh, man, we're going to be looking stunning. Grab your bow and give him a show. You know what I'm saying? The the loud, It's getting louder. Here we go. 
Here comes the groom. Um, as he steps in the room, they light the candles. Gotta set the mood, boys and girls. Set that mood. I'm assuming we gotta go out the window because it's. No? The cello? Oh, yeah, play that music, baby. String bass, cello, and the violin doing their thing. Oh, man. Oh, dude, this is beautiful. It's small. I gotta wait for her. I gotta wait at the top. Oh, there's the rev. All right, where do I stand? This side? I stand on that side. Is she coming? Oh, I gotta let her in. I gotta let her in. Here we go. Damn. Oh, there they are. They getting married. You know it, fam. I do. Yes. High five. <laughs> and do you take this woman to be your wife? You know you do, bro. Oh, look at all the dues. Yay! Congratulations, you two. JJ Evans. The Daily News. Flats prices go up. Well, ain't that a bitch? Hello, my love. Where are you? There's the tree that gets them both rock hard. The piano, though, is covered. Why is the piano covered? Dude, I swear, if my baby girl is done, that's far too soon. Looks like they're... Oh, they're moving in. But this, why is this on its back? Come on, man. Don't be a lazy bitch. And right, that's back out to the hallway. Hello. God, this place is just confusing as shit. Ooh, the kitchen. Woo, tang, bow. Jordy, thank you for the sub. I'm just going to open every single door because it's my place and I can do what I want. Wow, this bedroom is lit. Nothing's in, though. All right. Unpack. That's a little creepy. I'm just saying I wouldn't want that on my wall. I don't know about you guys, but I seriously wouldn't want that. I mean, if it's a nice picture of you guys. Window. I like it cooler. Um... I, you know what? I don't know about y'all, but I'm a, I'm a this side of the bed guy. I need to be, when I face, I need to have my leg cocked around the blanket, you know, when I first go to bed. So, but it needs to be the left leg. I'm very particular about that. Anyway, nothing in there. Look at her jewelry. It's beautiful. All right. Anyway, you're welcome. Some people actually don't like that because... Look how much space there is. I'll take the right, you take the left. Just like in the bed. He's on the left side. Alright, I get it. I cop it. What else can we unpack? Woo! Tang! Bow! Future, thank you for the sub. Now you have a place to uh, do your makeup. There you go. Women love these things, guys. Women love them. Alright, let's, let's store it nicely. Mackenzie, thank you for the, tw uh, the Twitch follow. Honestly, I guess honestly, if you're gonna if you're gonna have a dress that expense, might as well store it. Unpack. I'll take the top drawers and you take the bottom. I gotta say, she's pretty bossy. Is that that's them? That must be them. Maybe maybe that maybe that's their parents. I don't know. That's an old one. That's like his grandparents or something. 
That's their favorite tree. I don't know at this point who's who and what's what. Do I have to unpack the entire house myself? I'm guessing it's their parents. That's what I'm guessing. Marie, thank you for the follow. Alrighty. That's actually a dope bathroom. That's pretty dope. Tyler, thank you for the sub, man. With Twitch Prime. Repping the Prime skis. I'm assuming we just gotta go to each box and unpack it all. Where did you put the pots and pans? In this weirdly tall box. Put the mugs with the glasses, John. You got it, babe. The dishes can go at the top. Damn, this house is starting to look like a home now. Look at the red cup. Thanks for the coffee. Oh, my pleasure. Let's make her some coffee, baby. See, now red is different. They're giving you a new perspective. Remember they mentioned that a couple times? It's always different with a different perspective. So now red is like, it's it's very lovey to me, you know? Red is giving me that love appeal. Mmm, the smell of pancakes. Oh, look at John. I made your favorite. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, what's that? Let me guess, 10.15. How much are you going to bed at 10.15? I told you, it's the same time every single time. What is 10.15? It's trying to give you foreshadowing. Beep, beep. I know, I'm so cool. You don't want to leave that on there, bro. I don't want to walk away from that. I worry that I'm going to walk away from that. And something's going to happen. Milk is still blue. I'm telling you, bro. The milk is still blue. I Honestly, I keep having all these theories, but I'm never sure. Let's go unpack the rest of the shit. Hold on. I can't wait until we get to use these. What? What is it? Oh, it's your record player. Yes, that's what I don't understand. Finally, a proper table to eat at. Because we know that the therapy is taking place in 2005. You gotta remember the therapy is taking place in 2005, not this right now. Right now we're thinking back. This could be the 80s. No, this is this is probably 80s we're in right now. If I could guess. No, it might not be. I don't know, man. At this point, I don't even know. She could die at 1015. That's a good idea. That's possible. I can't wait to get everything unpacked so we can just relax and watch a movie but they have tv they have a flat screen so it's got to be mid 2000s i don't to be honest i don't know these should go by your desk right john can you set those down by my armchair i swear i'll get around to reading them at some point <laughs> oh so he'll write his stuff and she'll read oh, it'll be really nice it'll be lovely So I was supposed to unpack this whole time. Unless I was supposed to start in the bedroom. The piano, I, like, this is her piano. That much is clear. Why is the piano room all cold and open? Obviously some sort of imagery there. Can I light the candles? This is the same room where they got married. It's the same thing. There's his loafers. So it's a main floor. Unpack this stuff. Any box? Wait, can I not unpack it? Nope. This looks like the room, bro, doesn't it? I apparently can't unpack these yet. Is there another room we can tend to? The bathroom? Can you hook it up yourself? Oh, easy peasy, my love. Easy peasy. Beautiful. All right, cool. Put those under the sink. Red toothbrush. Finally, we don't have to argue over the sink anymore. His and her sinks, man. It's what you gotta do. It's the only way. Tough love. Why is there a pair of pliers down there? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I think there's an order they want you to unpack everything. This is actually a nice, nice bathroom. There it is. Every time something's going wrong. I know something's... That's gonna be a bad time for him. Because where is she? She's not here. Close the door, man. There you go. Is there anything else to unpack? But it says it's 303. That does not make sense. 
Did I miss something? I did. This is our side of the... Oh, whoa, what happened? Ooh! Got your draperies. Come on, man. You smoke in bed? What's wrong with you? Be that guy. Oh, is there a calendar next to the phone? Look, see, the, whenever he thinks of blue butterflies, he thinks of his girl. Every time. She's doing her makeup. See, and then the red lipstick. Oh. Meanwhile, is she reading something? Sweet dreams, John. It keeps... Oh, fuck. I want to know what that's trying to tell me, but... Oh, sorry, babe. Trying to sleep. Forgot. John Edwards. He's finna smoke. The wa the broken watch. Look at 13th. See that? 13th at 1015. Or it's it's like 1012 or something, I think. 1012. Or 10 1013 on January 13th. That's when this event happens. But we don't know what event that is just yet. We thought it was we thought. We thought it was a car crash that he got in. But that wasn't. That's how his parents died. So we don't even know. Oh, I gotta open both doors. Can I open these? See, it won't let me build these. That's the thing. It won't let me put pack these away. All right, let's try going into the piano room again. One o'clock. So this one, whoa. I didn't realize there was no roof on it. I'm guessing I haven't interacted with everything yet. Yeah, see, some things you still gotta open. Wait a minute. Is it different every time? John, come quick. It's starting. That's a real film, I think. Well, no, it's like a real video. I don't know what's moving. Is she moving? Or is the water moving? Trippy. Okay. What else we got? See, I thought this room had uh, something else. Oh, it's just a love story. What's it called? Sense and Sensibility. Of course it is. Ah, oh, the wind blew all the papers around. Let me help you clean them up. That time frame. What up, Alan? Hey, Subby, what's up? Yeah, every time there's like something new going on here. So that's still going. I can turn that on. So you have to keep unpacking things. Well, let's put these in the glass cabinet. Okay. There's your drink section. Oh, look at this. Mmm, delicious, John. Oh, the cupcakes from youth. You remember the cupcakes? The tree is beautiful. We're if going I through their life. So myself. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle all the way. See, it's a different time, though. This one actually says one. This time is different. It's not showing 1015 anymore. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse. This one does, though. So some of them do, some of them don't. And that's what's tripping me up. So this is all from before. There's nothing new here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, shit. Isn't this perfect, John? That scared me for a minute. Story, stories are always so perfect. She's glitching out. Always so Black dress, then white dress, right? Perfect. 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 What is perfect. happening? There's a glitch in the matrix. Oh, that is that is that wine or blood? Perfect. Are you okay, my dear? Perfect. 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 There's blood, and I think that's not wine. That's too much to be wine. Can I go outside? No. What's the time say on the clock? Whoa. 11.20 just about? All right, let's leave. Can we leave? Y'all, this is probably bad times now. John, come quick. It's starting. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, it's just a love story. Jesus Christ. 
Can we not go there? Damn. Okay. Now it's become a maze. That is creepy as sin. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she's not real. Still says, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just realized the clock's all fucked up. Look, five, six, seven. It's all backwards. It's upside down, isn't it? It's up, the clock's upside down. So what time is it really then if the clock's upside down? It's, uh, what? Like 7.30? Unless that doesn't really have a roll. Door's locked. Door's locked. Can I go this way? All these doors are locked. Oh, the wine, maybe? Still locked. Oh, do I sit down? Oh my goodness. Mmm, delicious, John. What's up, Teresa? Ew, bro, we're eating a heart. There's always bad with the good, man. Always. Ugh. I still can't leave? What else do I need to do? She ate her heart. Good. Or did she eat her heart? Let me out. Oh, the tree. The tree is beautiful. If Lingerie. I say so myself. The star broke. Okay, what now? Fireplace poker. This wasn't there before. He didn't kill her. Wait, there's something written in the mirror, or behind us on the wall. We can see it in the mirror now. Oh, he just Wu-Tanged it. Isn't this perfect, John? Oh my god, isn't this perfect? Let me guess, the words go move around and it says this isn't perfect. Butterfly is usually a good thing. Mm, smell pancakes. Am I cooking a butterfly? It's all, all the good images are being, oh, that is twisted. What the fuck? Thanks for the coffee. What did, what just fell in the coffee? Is that an eyeball? Oh. Are we in like someone's stomach? Don't be chopping up my butterfly, bro. You can't leave until you interact with everything. I made your favorite. Cookies with razor blades in them, bro. I don't like this game anymore. I don't like this ride. I'm ready to get off. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Whoa. Ugh. Oh, 
Oh. It just keeps looking like we're back to normal. Can you hook, 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 hook it up yourself? Put those under the sink. It's possible it did, yeah. Now there's only one sink. Again, symbolism. One sink. Hey, we don't have to. The clock, it keeps showing the same time. Dude, you better not overflow. These are brand new kicks. These are new Jordans, though. Okay, I'm gonna close that. I see the motel in the background. Do you think... Whoa, wait a minute. Do you think she cheated on him or something? Maybe? Do you think that's what happened? And he snapped? Stop that. Oh my fuck, that is creepy. It's the hum in reverse. I am sorry. That's what happened. That's what happened. I guarantee you that's what happened. Now it's like sweet, sweet dreams, John. She she unplugging all the stuff that's keeping him alive. Clock every single time. Does it work? I I wonder. Can I leave now? I'll take the top third and you take the bottom. Dude, he probably pushed her. Oh. I think he pushed her off the railing. In between chaos and the dream, please come here and make me feel safe, please. Thank you for the follow, John. Please stop it. It hurts. Appreciate the moment of the first kiss. It could be the last time you had your own heart. She was there just a second ago. Where is she now? Why did they leave me? Don't do it. I don't understand. Don't, don't, don't. I can't see you. I have to leave. Leave this place. Why are you doing this to me? The night is coming. Dude, this is just it's just a giant trippy show right now. I can't wait to see what you will write next. This is the big one, man. This act is huge for us. That first time we met, I thought you were going to kill me for interrupting your work. I thought you were going to kill me for interrupting your work. I th he killed her, man. He definitely did. Better not copyright me for this song. I swear to God, man. I'm gonna be salty as hell.
We're not quite there yet, guys. We are not quite there yet. He's back in the Azure Hotel. White interior is back to grace. So it's been remodeled? White anxiety, shades of white, white elegance. Because the whole game is in white. Scandinavian living, very white. Missing beauty case. These things have been modified. See that? Live like a king. Everything is black and white. Take. So, are we in his house? Are we getting the fuck out of Dodge? What's in here? Can we go through there? No, it's locked. Okay. All right, let's bounce, y'all. This looks like the... Yeah, this is his apartment. Or wherever. His flat. Whatever you want to call it. Woo. That is disorienting for sure. And if you walk towards it, it comes back. That's crazy. It's honestly kind of cool, too. Everything's all distorted. We're off to the Azure Hotel. Finished Act 4. Act 4 right there, my dudes. Epilogue, broken pieces. The patient has submitted to his memories completely. We must be careful to not let them consume him again. It's time to accept what cannot be forgotten. The final piece of the puzzle, ladies and gentlemen. So, there's a prologue, three acts, or four acts, and then an epilogue. This is interesting, man. I, I, I think we kind of put together the pieces, but I, I think we need to be shown in black and white what happened. Maybe he caught them cheating. I don't know. Just throwing shit out there, bro. At this point. No, this is real. Oh, man. I think we know. I think we know what happened. I think we actually do know what happened. I don't know. I don't know, but I think I know. I keep thinking I know, and then something keeps happening that changes my mind. Stop. Can, what if I... Can I go past there? No, it's invisible. I thought maybe you can make a choice here. Tara, thank you for the follow. Let's see what happens, guys. I'm intrigued as hell. Focus on the beautiful moments. Remember when we were together. Now we're taking another trip down memory lane. This whole thing is about memories, but it's been a lot of heartbreak, man. We're about to find this out together, y'all. The bullying. What has happened here? What is the meaning of this mess? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> they locked him in the cellar? That's what happened? You should stay out of trouble, John. They bullied him. And he gets the L? He takes the L because of... Wow, that's so fucked. You know what's funny? Teachers are like that in schools. The bully is often the one who gets off the hook. Like, let off the hook. And then the kid who's suffering, they don't do anything to help him. They always seem to believe the other kids. I, I Same thing when it happened to me, man. I was the one who had to leave the school. And they didn't expel them? Fuck you. There's no justice for these kids, man. Nothing. On the work grind, he was not happy. Keep checking the clocks, guys. Eight o'clock. We're getting closer and closer. Yes. 
What happened? Oh, I gotta follow the paper, sorry. Deputy, thank you for the follow. I'm just looking, I don't think there's anything here. Broken wine, the alcoholism. I can't say alcoholism right now. What's up, Foxy? Thanks for the host. Leftover Chinese. Can I take it or eat it or anything? I wonder what the yellow symbolizes. So maybe I was right in thinking that the color red means like anger and negativity because if something happened between him and his wife that love that love that he had is now a painful memory severe depression okay that's definitely real I gotta all the cheat. Fuck that is creepy as sin. We're kind of summarizing the acts. So was he committing suicide or what? I think he killed himself or tried to. What I'm trying to figure out though right now, what I'm trying to figure out is was his wife real? Cause it looked like he just read about her in a magazine. Like, she was just a cover magazine. She wasn't real. The tree. Like, I don't even know t right now what's happening. I, c I can't. I can't bridge myself to that tree. I mean, I think we're kind of filling in the blanks. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Let's go here. Is this thing finished? It's finished. 
We finished it, finally. A key. To that one gated one, stonemason. I just unlocked an achievement. There was a door that looked very pretty. I remember seeing a door that looked pretty. I thought it was here. This one here. That looks very pretty, doesn't it? The bus. There's a bus thing over there. Maybe that's not yet. And we're back here. Come in, John. Huh? Was it she all makes sense now. Do you see? No. I am lost. Perfect woman. You couldn't keep up the illusion, could you, John? What? Butterfly jewelry? Every lie has its flaws. Romantic journey among the clouds? You couldn't keep her alive in your head forever. She was one of your finest stories, wasn't she, John? She wasn't even real. Do you remember? Tell me, what is her name? Jane. John, sit down. I think we've come far enough for today, John. I want you to focus on my voice. I'm going to count down from three to zero. When I'm done, I want you to wake up here in this room. Are you ready? That does sound Three, right. John and Jane Doe. Two. One. But I have, I picked up that key. Zero. That key has to go somewhere. Waking up. Just got the achievement. Very good, John. Whoa, this is reality. We've made good progress today. We have color. Now, time to rest. I am in a wheelchair. We'll continue tomorrow. Is he pushing me or what's happening? I've got to look at my achievements and see what happened. Like see what I unlock, what I didn't unlock. I don't know if there's different endings, multiple endings, or what. I'll know based on the name of the achievement. It could just be finish the game. The end. So he was... All that wasn't even real. Remember her name. Just got the achievement. Just chucking out achievements at this point. Super sexy software, they call it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this while the credits play. And I'm going to go look at these achievements. And I'm going to go see what the hell, if we can make some recollection. I got 13 of 21. Game completed. I missed a couple. Let me look. Let me look at these achievements. See what I got. Uh, collect all nine drawing. Okay. Crack the safe code. Ate the pizza. Smartest kid in the class. Yeah. Found the scissors. Found the torn photo piece. I missed that one. There's six hidden achievements. What did I just unlock? Wait, back to reality. Put together the statue for stonemason. Um, I thought I had more than this. Where's finish the game? I thought there was a finish the game. Well, I gotta look at all the achievements. I got. I'm gonna go pull up the achievements for this real quick while we go through the credits. Oh, whoops! Ignore that. Um. Okay, hold on. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but I also want to see. Let's see. All right, here we go. Go away. 
All right, waking up, shattered mind. I don't know what shattered mind means. It doesn't tell you what it means. No one's earned it. That's a, I honestly think. Then there's a chatty achievement. Perfect candidate. It's cold in here. I think they're all just bonus. So I don't, I think honestly, I got the most, here's what I got, okay? It looks like um, I got perfect smile, brush your teeth probably. So it's just things you had to do that I missed out on. It looks like there were two ways to end it. Uh, there was Shattered Mind and Waking Up. I got the good ending. Because if I'd chosen drugs, if I'd chosen all these other things, I wouldn't have gotten... Yeah, that's totally what it was, man. I had, uh... I, I, because I woke up, I came to grips with reality. If I had made different choices, I probably would have been stuck in that life, you know, in, in my mind. But I realized what was really happening. And I think this girl wasn't real. But what I'm not sure of was, was the hotel room real? Like, was the, sh did I try and kill myself? Like, what happened? Do I have brain damage now? Like, I am so, that part I'm not 100% sure on. So, at least the credits were nice and short and sweet. We'll see what happens. I don't know if there's an alternate ending or not, but... To be honest, man, I'm, I kind of wish that was, like, what happened. Like, he murdered somebody, but there was no such thing. Jane Doe. Hold up, we ain't done here. Or is that just the... Press any button. That's it. I don't want to continue game. Load game. Remembering. Okay. Well, I think it's one of those things that's kind of up for debate, you know, what it's really about. But, um, I don't know, man. He's, yeah, he's just a schizophrenic. It was in his head. I, I kind of, that kind of sucks, man. I was kind of hoping he suffered trauma and that, like, so there was no murder. But it does seem like he was a struggling author. I think all the things with the kid, like, being bullied and everything was real. I think what we saw in that final walk was real. And I think we saw the state of decay of his mind, which led him to try and kill himself. That's what happened. He survived, though. He survived, and yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I honestly think that's what happened. It just showed his life, which led to his severe depression, which ultimately probably led to his attempted suicide, but he was rushed from the hotel, and... He's recovering, it looked like. He woke up, and now he's got brain issues. So, trying to help him deal with his problems. I think that's the, the synopsis. I kind of want the dev to get in touch with me and tell me if that was the case. Uh, and if there's an alternate ending. I think there is an alternate ending. So, if I took the pills right off the bat. Remember in the beginning, I woke up, and I chose the glasses. But if I chose the pills by mistake, I'm like, hmm, what if I did ch choose the pills? That would probably change a few things. So, Because um, there's other achievements that I didn't unlock. Uh, like, like I said, like just a couple of things I missed out on eight achievements. Um, and they were all like things like do certain events, like kind of like how I got, you know, certain things, right? Like, or if I did extra stuff in the game, like I was supposed to grab the photo. I must've missed a few things along the way. Not super important, but you know, I think the story is relatively the same. There's one of two endings. So you're either, like I said, you're so like obsessed with like not getting better and looking forward you don't you don't want to come out of reality like you don't want to come to reality which in this case was him depressed uh tried to kill himself and ended up waking up and he probably can't walk anymore or something like that either way you look at it he's a patient or you could stay in your fantasy world that's what i'm guessing so if i took the pills maybe that's what would have happened um so anyway guys I actually really like this game. I'm glad I took a, took a chance on it. Uh, not the longest game in the world, but it's obviously not too expensive. You can run through it a second time and change up your choices. I'm thinking that might be something. Some things might not have a have a you know have much to do with it, but I think everyone should give this one a try and maybe go for something else. Obviously, you know the story now to a degree. I think I'm a touch disappointed that none of that stuff happened. I was kind of hoping that all of it was reality and that this is what he did, you know, and he ended up going like she cheated on him or something and he ended up pushing her but that's what was that was the story that was the story it was part of the story that he was writing but he got stuck in his own story and it just i don't know man it's yeah it was all about writing his book but he was still 
gr like stuck with grief because no one ever loved him ever it seemed as soon as he lost his parents in that car accident that that was it so i'm guessing like everyone's been saying that 10 13 or whatever that was when he shot himself that's probably why the time is so important anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching this stream i had a blast playing this game i hope you all enjoyed this one if you did don't forget to hit that like button it helps out immensely guys if you didn't hear i just figured i'd throw this out there i moved my shop i opened a brand new shop on teespring you might actually see the link underneath here there's like a little shop tab it's linked directly to youtube um there's a promo code right now that i got going on for the next week uh to save you 10 percent it's called new store 10 if you want to get those shirts that weren't approved on my spreadsheet shop they're approved here so you can cop one of those if that's something you've been wanting to get the other ones are there as well and i'm thinking it's just a much better fit so we'll probably stay on teespring from now on i figured i'd throw that out there and the quality of teespring is a lot better from what i've heard so there's that plus as well I figured i'd throw that out there if you're interested otherwise guys i hope you have a fantastic day tomorrow i'm not sure what we're gonna be playing yet but I got to do some brainstorming, uh, but I'm hoping I might want to go back to uh, deliver us the moon and try and finish those other things that I said I want to do, like all the achievements and things like that. And then who knows, maybe we'll come back to this and try and get the other achievements afterwards. I don't know, but this was a launch day. I didn't honestly, I was probably gonna do that today, but this game came out. So it's pretty dope. So I really enjoyed it. I think you guys should give it a give it a give it a look. Support the indie devs, you know, really solid story. I, it really had me in and I wanted to know more every time. So kind of a mixed emotions though about the ending for sure. But it, it's honestly makes a lot of sense and I'm satisfied at the end of it. So either way you look at it, it's good news. So thank you guys. Take care. Have a great day. And I hope I see you in the next one. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.